<laughs> Good Tetros. What? Oh, friend. I love it, though. You made me jump with the hundred. And the spooky ghost nonsense. I will get the Dustbuster. I don't even know if that's actually effective against ghosts, but I feel it would be um, inconsiderate. <laughs> Oh, Catastrophe, that sounds like a lovely day. How far in are you? Oh, sorry, uh, Catastrophe has been playing uh, Control today. Shaunerous, good morning, what, ho, friend? Oh, lovely. So I've made no, mis I've made no secret that I've been faffing around on TikTok quite a lot. Um, and one thing that's really fascinating is people doing these like little SCP skits. And there's a bunch of them. I'd really like them to kind of revisit the characters from Control. Because, okay, obviously, it's TikTok. It's not highbrow entertainment. But with the goal of those kind of, like, like quick-form social media characters to be very, very over-accented, it just reminds me how good the characters in Control are. Like, the ones who work at the Bureau full-time and make it to, like, the higher levels... They're so well-rounded, especially the computer bloke. Like, he is simultaneously a regular guy you could meet in any office situation, and almost perfectly acclimatized to working with weird anomalies every day, you know? That is a guy that does go home and feed his cats after watching a refrigerator kill someone, you know? Right? Oh, sorry. Uh, Katash was saying the Astray Maze is still, like, top of the story. Hey! Cheers all, friends. Van der Beast Wraith. What ho? I take it you were treated to some exceptional conversation already, so hopefully the strength of this coffee and the extra pot of coffee that I have will bring me up to speed. Git Ned, good morning, Ochazini, hello! Aperios, what ho, friend? Hello, hello. <laughs> Aperios, how was your morning, friend? Tell me your tales. Uh, down on the dwarf, a good morning to you. Or oh, afternoon of time travel. Oh, okay. Sorry, uh, Catastros has been playing through Control today. Uh, has done the AWE DLC, but is about to do the Ashtray Maze in game. Okay, so no more spoilers from me. Well, it wasn't spoilers, just more thoughts and feels. But, uh, Van der Beast, thank you for filling the pint glass. Now, we did have a spooky ghost infestation before we started. Uh, you lot coming in seems to have scared them off. You know. I, I try to subscribe to the, uh, the Ghostbusters theory that I ain't afraid of no ghost. But I'm definitely afraid of some ghosts. <laughs> Uh, down the top, it is the morning there, just after 8 a.m. Uh, and Aperio saying it's pretty chill. About a coffee. Do, do, okay, do not let the ghost finish its ghost pyramid. That's how we get trouble. There we go. Sorry, I can I can yell it down. The ghost pyramid shall not be finished. I don't know why it's being made, but I'm sure it's not good. If controllers taught us anything, fear the pyramid. Except for when it's the good kind. Sort of. Yeah, that, that's a saying that needs to work. <laughs> and Lizzie, good morning to you. White ho, friend. Hello, hello. Yeah, Alice, it does seem ominous. But yeah, so Berrios was chatting just coffee and games. Aww. Um. Poor boy. I guess, I guess we'll wait for more people to get in before we kind of tear into video game conversations because there's one, there's one bit of shite news that does affect us a little directly in the last few days, but we can, we can chat about that. Nene Chan, good morning, what's ho friends? Hello, hello. But I'm very glad to have an inordinate amount of coffee. Um... I finally finished uh, Wolf Stride last night, and it is the most anime game to date. 
And I don't mean that it is the most anime in terms of, like, art style, although it can claim that. Like, its structure, its pacing, its character arcs, it's, it's anime. You know? It is a, a glorious, self-contained story that is simultaneously grounded and heartfelt while also being completely off the rails. And I love it. Um... I mean, Mal, I can do you some hods and factual ash. I can, I can hook you up. <laughs> Mal, how are you doing, friend? What are we doing? <laughs> and Bacon, good morning. What a friend. Thank you for the hundred. Oh, sorry, and Catastros, thank you for throwing in a hundred. I, you know, keeps me going, and I'm real fucking grateful for that. Even if you did scare the pee out of me when I was trying to get set up. Uh, so Alnus is about the halfway point and are loving its almost ritual-like episodic structure. Don't quite know whose story it is right now. Yes. I actually started watching uh, season two of Megalobox last night just to kind of ground my my anime feelings on the subject. I got one achievement left in the game, which I'm going to go get. Which isn't a hard one. It was just a little, like, do the dumb thing Chivo that I missed. But yeah, I feel like, <laughs> yeah, Alnus, which time? Beck and yes. Also, how the how the art style shifts gear into the mech fight still. Like, both the, the pilot art, the mech art, the movement, everything. It's got this real kind of Sakuga feeling. And when you think of, like, reusable pixel art and kind of visual novel style storytelling, it's a real effective and cost-effective way of telling a story. Like, if it was just the mech fight and nothing else, it would kind of be a bit like, meh. But because of the pacing and the structure, like, Cowboy feels like your mech. Even though we've all had the same unit, we probably chose the same moves and set up. But it Reactor online. online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. By my arc necromantic power, you just lost the. Fuck you, Phase 6. I just lost the game. You bastard! Are you proud of yourself? 29 mo months worth of subscriptions turned into a fine laser to do damage. Uh, Night Valen, the, the piss is pre boiled. Okay, we can, we can talk about. The, the, the piss boiling scenario that led to that. Uh, but I figure we'll wait for everybody to get together because unfortunately it does affect us. And it's heartbreaking, but we'll talk about that in a bit. <laughs> Raid with weaponized subscriptions. You love to see it. I could tear into a lot of you. Um, we were just talking about um, uh, Wolf Strike, which I finished last night. Honestly, I recommend it. I'd recommend it more to anime fans and visual novel fans than necessarily mech fans off the bat. <laughs> uh, friends, if you haven't seen the game, we've played a couple of days of it, and in a way, friends, I am kind of glad we didn't stream the entirety of it because the pacing, as a viewer, gets really wibbly in the middle. But, God, it was good. <laughs> Down on a door with us, Terrace. We're innocent, I tell you. I can hear, I can hear the grin when you write that. <laughs> Friends, I think pop time's just... It's just branching out. <laughs> to the sense of Kitsune. Good morning, hello, what's ho, friend? Anyway, friendos, how long did it take me to finish uh, Wolf Stride? Uh, I played it for 46 hours in total, which is not necessary. I 
once you get to a certain point in the game, you can start doing kind of like underground mech fights, which allows you to grind for like pineapples and stuff like that real easy. But I'd also been grinding for cash. Uh, there was one evening where Salem was doing a playlist on the Discord, and I just sat there doing jobs while listening to tunes with everybody. Ah, oh, and to the to the grizzly group. Ah. Can't even speak today. Humble Hello. store purchase made for $29.99. Here's to the dramatic duck. <laughs> uh, whoever that was, thank you for using the part link. Um, I mean, I'm going to say this every time because it's true. I know it's a pain in the ass to go through third party stores, but it fucking helps out a whole bunch. And uh, I should be catching up with the humble folks at GDC. Fingers crossed. And double fingers crossed. Like, not getting sick. Um, what was I nattering about? Oh, Wolf Stride. Anyway, uh, I highly recommend it. Um, there's some really interesting stuff to be said about pacing. And thinking about it now, it's up there with, like, Heaven Will Be Mine in terms of what if you... What if you take simplistic gameplay mechanics and tell your story in a visual novel style? Then on the flip side, I'm kind of glad that uh, Heaven Will Be Mine didn't have uh, a fully voice acted story because... Oh, I don't know if there's enough cold water in the house to, to douse that fire, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, and... Um, I'm sure you're all aware of it by now, but I figure it warrants saying Tunic is out after feck knows how long. The the cutie patootie Zelda-esque uh, little fox adventure is finally out. Um, and I'm in two minds of whether or not to swap up tomorrow's game for Tunic, but I might I might give it another another day or so. As Aperio says, it is on Game Pass as well. Um, like, I've been keeping a Hawkeye on Tunic for ages. Though I did get a little confused with Tunic and Button City because the similar kind of like low poly cute fox main characters got blended in my head. So if I was a while where I thought they were both the same game. Well, you already, Blep. Cheers to you. And a Blep as well. Um, sorry, I guess I'm still getting caffeinated, so. Jackie, I apologise that I lack the big clever words to say a proper thank you. Full year with us. <laughs> the final form of the longship is yours. Of red and steel. Pretty cool. Uh, oh, Ray's been playing Tunic and says it's pretty good so far. Way cool. Yeah. As for God, as for what I'm gonna start playing next in my downtime, I don't know. I'll probably have another obsessive night on vampire survivors at some point. Um I am absolutely not giving Destiny 2 its fair shout at the moment. Uh, I keep reading these articles about how the new content is some of like the best story content to date. And the problem is, the problem is most certainly with me, and that's really about it. You know, friends, everything interesting I'm playing, you'll are seeing first. <laughs> oh, and Shauneris, I mean, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna admonish anyone for not playing titles. I'm usually the person who pushes myself to try and play highbrow stuff when I'm feeling ill, which is never good. Oh, and Nene Chan, like, let us know how Tunic is. I, like I said, I I found this really interesting title called Blood West. Uh, Blood West is like a cowboy. Okay, we talked a lot about uh, the immersive sim. I don't want to call it genre. What did we what did we end up calling it? Like the immersive sim scene. You know, that little scene of teeny tiny uh, looking glass studio video games that really rocked the world and gave us well, I mean and Deus Ex as well. 
Um, and so uh, I got offered a press key for Blood West. And Blood West is very much seeking to be the same thing, but with like a, a Wild West kind of... You know that horror but not scary kind of style? You know, like werewolves and devils and bat people and whatnot. And it's it's claiming to evoke that immersive sim style. And I really want to break it down. Because, I mean, this is how genres are formed in our space. And it's also curious to see takes on that old stuff. You know, last Thursday when we did the Thief deconstruction, we talked a lot about... Um, game genres and how they evolve and how we have the term roguelike but if you look at the game rogue and you look at the most popular roguelikes there's no visible through line it's all mechanical and intellectual in terms of its description oh friends as an aside uh paradise killer is on game pass my crush uh for lady love never dies is it love never dies Lady Love Dies, my apologies. Uh, my crush for Lady Love Dies uh, has not. Um, supposedly there are gonna be they're gonna be adding a bunch of new content. Uh, I don't know when the, the new content drop is. But if you hadn't had the chance to play it, um, now will be the time. Um, Paradise Killer is... Paradise Killer is exceptional. Like, I want to gush on it. But I think... The blinder you can go into it, the better. Sorry, I... Uh, I keep... I gotta get that out of my vocab. Anyway, uh, if you don't know the premise of Paradise Killer, uh, you, the only detective, uh, are called uh, are called out of retirement after the council is murdered, and it is your job to find out who killed them and why. And you just explore this island of like gorgeously designed characters. To discover the world underneath it and try and ca uh, try and crack the case as to what happened. It's it's one of the best examples of something that seems like it is incoherent, and by the end of it, it forms such a beautifully constructed story. There's such a incredibly deep world as to be god something special yeah i've probably said too much there <sighs> but yeah so uh, that's the that's the mines that i'm in tomorrow is that it would be lovely to jump into Tunic because I've been looking forward to that for quite some time. Uh, but Blood West feels like it's going to be an interesting one to, to to look at. Like, like get into the guts of. So Anyway, we can discuss that all today. Uh, next week is GDC. So uh, you will have to do with some phone streams from me and some little video messages. Um... But, friendos, this Saturday, Gundam Draft, G3, it's happening. Um, I had a look at how long everyone's going to have to build their Gundams, and it's plenty of time. So, if you're thinking about getting involved, please do. <laughs> I love the idea that our little Gundam building contest is going to be the official declaration as to who gets to control the games industry for another year. The, the true rulers of the games industry will be decided by us. Us to our shield maiden sanctuary, I say. What ho and welcome. Oh, Nene-chan, just take photos. 
Just take photos. I'm not having... I like, it would cost everybody so much in shipping to send them out. And honestly, like, rulings aren't going to be too strict. Like I said, look, I'm, I'm recommending the, the 144 scale because that way the entry, the, the barrier to entry is like eight bucks. Like, if you want to just take the Mac Daddy and paint him in the colors of whichever games company you get, or the most popular product that games company, like, there's a whole room for creativity on this one. Like, that's entirely valid. Oh, and Fredo, good morning to you, mate. What hell and welcome. No, Vanna Beast, I have too many. Like, friends, we've finally got the rest of the flat looking like a like a flat now. But we need to get all of this all sorted. This is, like, kit and things for running the longship. This is either fancy Gandams or boxed Gandams. I, I can't tell. There's the feckin' Sega Saturn. Space has become a premium. Uh, and I will have to be living out of this room for at least a few days after GDC. Um, we've got enough of the rapid tests, so I may only be in here for like two or three days. Uh, Aldrazini says they're pricing some Gundam kits. The cheapest they saw was a Barbatus at $13. Okay, well, I mean, it does vary from region to region. Uh, if you would like my... I, Faber 6, that is not what I said. I said very much the opposite. Um, if you would like a recommendation, uh, these are the $8 kits I was talking about. So they're called uh, first grade or entry grade kits. Um, literally, you need no tools to put them together, like this little bugger here. You just... They come on one sprue, you can literally pop them out with your thumbs, clip them together, jobs are good. Uh, and there's also a Zaku version as well. Vanderby says, you heard it, post GDC, round the clock, stream a thon! Ah. No, remember, we, we've, we've subjected everybody to very late night will, and it has not been good. But yeah, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be where I'm basically living out of for a few days after GDC, so, <laughs> well, while there'll be a distinct lack of my dumb face for a week, there will most certainly be a lot more of it after. Uh, so Nene Chan, uh, I've been I've done a fair few games industry interviews over the years. Uh, there's uh, a lot of vods here, and God, we got a bunch of uh, the playlist. God, the playlist probably needs a, a going over. But uh, there's a semi cohesive playlist of them over on YouTube. Um, the weird thing, the weird thing was that when everybody got locked down. A lot of my industry friends started streaming of their own version, which meant it was much harder to get people on the line for a natter. Um, right, that's just been the long and short of it. So, I don't know what it's going to look like in the future as we go and. Perios is it? Did I hear you say you're doing an uncapped subathon during GDC? That was some very selective hearing. <laughs> God. No one wants to watch me sleep. Mainly because um, this area is still in disarray, so all that's going to happen in the evenings is that bed is just going to get folded down like this.
No, sorry, here was me uh, getting distracted. So yeah, Nene Chan, I love doing industry interviews. And one of the reasons is actually because of things like GDC. Like, a large proportion of my industry knowledge comes from being lucky enough to have the kind of friends that I have in the industry and the, the kind of conversations that I get to have. You know, I'm I'm pretty proud of my industry of my industry knowledge. I I, I take an active I should take an active role. I I put in a lot of hours to stay current on what's going on industry wise in the ilk. But there's just a certain level of there's a certain level of knowledge you can only really get from rolling with people and I want to oh and Captain Stephanie Barnes what ho friend uh, wait are you sure Dinobot didn't do his thing yeah Dinobot did his thing <laughs> Perry was like, I already watched you sleep, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> uncapped subathon after GDC. I mean, I'll be in here. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not saying that is happening. I'm not getting myself into trouble already. Um, sorry, it was me rambling on. TLDR. I have been doing industry interviews because I love being able to introduce all of you to these lovely people and get to have those conversations. You'd be amazed how much industry knowledge is best gained from just having a natter with someone. It's great. It's feckin' great. <coughs> Fan of his watchful sleep. When does he even do that between the hours of... 6 o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes a little later if I'm lucky. <coughs> You're all terrors. You're all terrors. And Wolfgrad. What? Oh, and welcome. Good morning. Um, yeah, uh, Fiona put uh, it's a lovely... Uh, lovely thank you message um, to, to everybody that showed up for her, her birthday streams. Reactor online. Sensors oh, online. You. Weapons online. Yeah. All systems nominal. Unitex, thank you for 41 months. Uh, mainly, and I said thank so I could focus on that and not... Uh, Acknowledge all the uh, the forbidden snack nonsense currently going down. So, you lovely, lovely Mother Hubbards. Um, <laughs> some of you may have seen from my slightly unhinged tweets in the last couple of days. Uh, God, it's been a week. Um, games industry-wise... I mean, all the industry friendos I know are either prepping for GDC or FOMO for GDC, which is understandable. And again, I will be taking with me a shite ton of masks. I'm not going to be playing a casual... Um, and I will be quarantining in this room after. Um, hopefully, I think it's, um, as a friend I was just reminding me, it's three days I'll need to, I'll need to be in here after the flight. Uh, to then, so I make sure, like, the, um, the tests are fine. And after that, well, that's in the hands of the gods. Um, I mean, a catastrophe, I'll probably be just lying here with my little headphones and being like, I miss you guys. That'll probably be how I commune. <laughs> I 
Fred's like, remember to make offerings to Papa Nurgle. No, that's how you get riddled. Because he loves everybody. He loves everything. Including little bugs and viruses. He wants everybody to get along. Mal's like, what is this outside you speak of? I vaguely recall a faint distant memory. A smell. An idea. A time. A dumb place. I couldn't bust out the uh, the Gandalf voice for some reason. Hey, and Captain Steph, it is nay worry. Uh, okay, so let's do games news in reverse order of piss boiling. <laughs> um, it looks like the new Perfect Dark game is having a horrible time. Um, uh, the article doing the rounds the last couple of days was inordinate amounts of, uh, of staff from that project have been set and sailed. Seems like it's just having a really troubled development. Um, which is just, which is bad times. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise is getting new content. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be launching uh, at the beginning of summer. And it seems to be going artistically for a Kind of more traditional Monster Hunter styly, so less of the the Ninja Village, more of the you know the wood planks and hunters guilds of old, which is interesting. Um, we've talked a lot about Monster Hunter Rise recently, and I don't really have anything additional to add. I still am not sure why it hasn't consumed our group like World did, um, but I think it's safe to say that the multiplayer has a big part to play in that. Uh, Vampire Survivors is getting a new mechanic next month, which isn't usually something I'd be excited of, but I am. Um, apparently, Skull and Bones is still in production, and Ubisoft are going to be looking for testers, but from the rumblings I've heard, like that particular studio went through a real hellscape of a time. Uh, so... It, it'll be nice to see Skull and Bones move forward, but my 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 hope isn't there. Uh, and apparently Warren Spector uh, hasn't worked on System Shock 3 since 2019. So the System Shock 2 reboot is going to be the next one to look forward to. Uh, this, for those wondering, there is a Capybara game on Steam. Uh, it looks calming and simple. Um, and Stadia will officially be pivoting to Google Cloud. Um, which, the TLDR of that is they're moving away from Stadia being a commercial product, and they're looking for Google Cloud, like the streaming service behind it, to be a product offered to companies. Maybe it'll work! Who knows? Um, I can't wait to see the MacPat video on it. He said his voice thick like sarcastic mama! Hmm. Uh, jumping back into chat. So Ultrazini reckons that Rise hasn't grabbed a long ship like World because we did love the 16 player lobbies. That's a good point. You know, the long ship as a whole has between like 8 and 12 people that will just jump on a game together. So those 16 player lobbies were great. But with a team of four, you need to have that like that weekly board game group about you. Um, I also, I feel that while the, the Weeb in Me loves the, the hidden ninja village theme, it very much changes the, the focus of the game, you know? You're no longer these scrappy hunters building your pieces in the field, like, you know, you're the new kid in ninja village trying to kind of make your way up, catch up with everybody else. You know, there's no feeling of like, ah, oh, shit, if you don't handle this dragon, it's going to burn some shit down. It's like, okay, child, go handle your first dragon. This is your tuning exam. Okay, bye-bye now. Packed you a lunch. Fearless, what, ho, friend? Hello, hello. Um, yeah, Faber 6. Those first grade kits are super cheap. And they're fun to put together. But I'm not going to start thinking about what kit I might use and how I might kind of kit bash it together until we've done the draw on Saturday. Uh, 
Uh, Perio says the ninja theme does feel right for how much mobility and freedom you have to explore the world vertically. Otherwise, it doesn't feel that much of a rise. Yes. I feel almost like you get the ninja mobility stuff too early in a weird way. It makes... So, okay. Mobility denotes the size and scale of your world. Monster Hunter Rise has, is a very small game. But not because it's little, but because it's but you're able to traverse it so quickly. It has more complexity than you know pre-roll pre-world Monster Hunter games and bigger size. Some huge set pieces and wonderful secrets to discover. I mean, they're massive, especially when you take the verticality into consideration. But because you have the wire bug from the go, and you have your dog, you're always either like sprinting or ninja flipping around. I mean, when we were just hanging out and chatting that one of those um, Friday nights, um, we just, I, I just went on a, an expedition so I could talk with all of you lot. And there was so much to find, but it's just not, yeah. Uh, Captain says, says, what are the rules for signing up for G3? Okay. Um, I mean, we'll make a team list in the next couple days. Then on Saturday, we're going to do a draft. Um, this will be a, you know, D20s to... We'll get like a, we'll get a dice rolling app or something. And it'll be D20s. We should probably do it like D100 or something nonsense. And that will denote the, the drafting order. So obviously, like teams like Team Cherry and um, feckin, uh Super Giant will be hot contenders, like hot wanted uh, teams. Oh, sorry, Band of Beast. Uh, it's Park it. It's a um, baseball track. My apologies. Okay. Uh, Alan says, would be worth setting up a team thread in the Discord now, or just uh, or just for folks to drop in ideas. And we could do a shared um, uh, Google Tables doc for teams. Um, I, mean, may I tell you what, friends, maybe we'll kick that off today once, uh, like, when I start getting into the zone on Hades, we can then use that as, like, a brainstorming. Um, I was going to leave it. I was going to leave it, but the dude's still in my feckin' mentions this morning, so... So the guy that made Demeanor is a piece of shit. <laughs> I, I don't know any other ways to put it. Um, it's a heartbreaker because Demeanor has in the past been one of our like go-to bangers of games. And... Poor oh boy. I... Yeah, Fred, Captain Steph, um, I'm real sorry on this one. <sighs> so, uh, I believe it was over the weekend it got spotted. So basically, in one of the patch notes for a new demeanor update, the dude puts in this weird, mildly unhinged, mildly sexist rant about uh, how you should stop wearing masks uh, because it's cowardice and... Uh, women will like it more if you smile more or something. I fucking forget. And it was, it was, it was weird. Like, I mean, over here in the US, the mask mandate has come to an end. So, 
at least in some states you no longer have to wear a mask. I'm going to keep doing it because my immune system's shit, uh, and because I value my safety and the safety of others, but you know what I'm saying. And so the internet kind of found it and went, oh, that's not cool. And it got some coverage on some sites. And since then, the dude has just become more and more rancid. Like, his response tweet was something about how he was, and I'm paraphrasing here because I do not want to count, I don't want to quote, but uh, like, 16 hours ago, you were getting mad about my patch notes. 16 hours ago, I was having intercourse with my partner. But in a far more chad bro, douchebaggery kind of manner. And since then, uh, it's just been nothing but turgid nonsense. I expressed how upset I was about it. And yeah, the dude's been up in my mentions trying to start a fight. Now, the thing is, I've been a CM for a thousand years. I know what's going down. Like, this, he is not trying to have a discussion with me. It's a, it's a bad faith set up the idea of kind of like 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 baby's first trolling you know what you do is you pose questions of the person that seems to be coming from an empathic standpoint like oh what are you sad about what damage has been done and this uh, these were just from this morning uh if you were properly heart if you were sorry if you were proper heartbroken by someone having a full breakdown why not talk to that person to see if you can work it out it's like no Oh, Captain Stephanie Barnes, I would be more than happy. Uh, alleged. Twitter's kind of a shit show right now. How are you doing, Watto, and welcome. But yeah, this and this guy has continued for days. Just any any criticism has just become like rancid nonsense. And the thing is, the thing that makes it the thing that makes it sad, the thing that makes it sad is that have if if the guy had said nothing, the Mina was a surprisingly progressive game. You know, you play a woman who runs a villa that has its own like gladiator. I don't want to say school. It has its own like you know gladiator pit. You know, with your husband either dead or gone, it's up to you to to make money by throwing these gladiators into the ring. And the brilliance of how it talks about, like, you know, the, the Fall of Rome-style opulence. How, rather than trying to fix the problems that were inherently wrong with the Roman Empire, they just threw, like, money and games and celebration at it. Was a really interesting part of history to set a game in from the point of view of those taking part in that opulence. And, and I don't mind spoiling it now, because we fed this guy. Um... Like, don't spend money on this game, please. Um, the hook at the end is you actually have to balance empathy and success. Because what happens is at the end, your rival who, if you've beaten all of the games, you have beaten them. Like, you've you've destroyed them. So your rival offers to, uh, to pay for your trip to the big celebration at the end of the year. It's not something you can avoid. Uh, and it turns out it's a trap. Less shock. But, and here's where it gets interesting. Um, you are thrown into the ring. You've spent all this time throwing humans to their death for blood sport and money. And now you've been thrown in. And here's what happens. Every person that you have freed throughout your playthrough comes to your aid. But they go up against the kind of warriors that you have trained and are still in your employment. Yeah, Cat and Steph, you came back to save me, even though you killed the Magister's son to get out. Um, I thought that was really clever, because it's not just can I build a team of people who can win, but can I also train enough people and free them so that they can come to my rescue you have to balance the success of running a setup yeah honest your secret weapon is empathy and mercy if you try and operate your school without those eventually it's you in the ring you're the one murdered you know you're the the last blood spore 
And look, I know Death of the Author is a real thing. Um, and that sometimes we can infer... We can infer artistic meaning in works that may not have been intended. But like... <laughs> Sadlin says, Dead of the author is an interesting conversation when the author is actually dead. Yes. Um, Lindsay Ellis did a very, very interesting uh, video about uh, about Joanne Rowling, who shall get no more coverage from us than the mention of their, their name. But it was the idea of, can you... Can you practice Death of the Author? And... Like... What a celebration was Capri. Turns out necromancy. It's a complicated one. It's a complicated one. I mean, friends, I try and inspire people, obviously, within their means, to pick up the games that we enjoy and experience here because I love video games. Like, you've seen that even if it's not something sponsored, even if it's not like with a humble link or anything. If it's a game that I think is worth your time, I will say, go and buy it, pick up a copy. Because I think it'll be good. I, I think it'll be an experience that you enjoy. The position that I'm in, I can't... Like... <sighs> There's nothing that I can do around that title that doesn't form some kind of promotion of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, so Catastros, the thing is, it's it, it's classic bad faith argument. Um, the dude, if you look at all the mentions, he's just starting arguments and fights with anyone. I assume to feel good about himself or to try and drum up noise. I don't want to call it interest. Um, but as it is well known, those who embrace the dark side will be consumed by it. Well, okay, so Phyllis, we'll talk about Ellis's whole video, but it was just the point that she made of, about can you practice death of the author as a concept? Can you divorce the author from their creation? And sadly, the answer is no. I mean, there are some things you can do to make sure terrible people who are still, still on this mortal coil do not monetarily benefit from your experiencing of certain pieces of art. But that's a that's a whole messy conversation itself. Um, I'm just I'm constantly reminded of the guy that wrote Stars Without Number. And I'm sorry I've told you this story 50 times, but I'm probably going to tell it 50 more. For Christmas one year, I asked him to uh, sign a copy of Stars Without Number for Baron as a gift. You know, Memnar was still is fucking brilliant. I love it. Um. And he was really kind. He didn't even charge me for the book. Like, he just was like, oh, you really like this? Cool, I'll sign it and send it over. And so obviously I was like, hey, you've made something that's really interesting, that's sort of really involved and in-depth. Would you like to come on the show and talk about your experiences and stuff like that? And he went, no. I was like, oh, wait, wait. And the interesting thing about it is he feels that his art should be what speaks for him you know turns out like the dude's really against social media and the ilk and like i really respect that God. i mean the idea that at some day i might get to make a game that speaks for me more than i could because i mean i'm a good talker i i pride myself on being an eloquent conversationalist but there's certain things that you can't convey, even with words. Even in the the wee hours with friends, there are certain parts of the human experience that you can only convey through art. The messy, complicated feelings, the, the strange and the weird and the uplifting, and the idea that you can 
convey those without having to uh, say your stance on them. It's fascinating. <sighs> anyway, it it was sad, and it was definitely the reason why. All my, I, thankfully, I didn't. But I almost woke up and tweeted, "Wake up, samurai! It's time to boil some piss." Oh, and Jay Boy was like, "I'm not. I'm I'm sad that something we enjoy as a group has been tarnished by a creator." Um, but the great thing about Twitch as a space is that. We are always growing. Um, I watched this wonderful thing over the weekend, which was a breakdown of Bob Burnham's Inside, and it talked a lot about how the curse of the curse of YouTube, succeeding on YouTube, essentially means being locked into one thing forever. And maybe I don't know. Maybe I maybe I can't see the the wood for the trees here. But the great thing about being here, about this being a thing that we do day in, day out, is that it changes, it evolves, it shifts. You know? What our adventures are like this week may be drastically different from the next week and then the week after that. You know? While there's a fleeting kind of feeling when it comes to streams, there's a constant evolution of it. And I love that. Um, and I had a way I was going to bring that back around to a point that means something, and I... Oh! And the point being is that we had those incredible times with Demina, and those will never go. Like... Oh, Roki just like, yay, Bo Burnham! Yup. Um, I've had to limit how much I can watch inside uh, any given week. Oh, Robin, you'll be fine. There's a, like, there's a target within spitting distance of the convention center. Um, so anything you forget, you can pick up. <laughs> yeah. Catastros, I'll take it, I'll take it. All heart, all goof, 120% of the time. Unless hungover. Um, but yeah, so... The great thing about streaming is that we... Like, giving up... Giving up demeanor does not mean that we're done. You know? We aren't tied to the art that we support. It's still all about you lot. I'm just the... I'm just a focusing crystal, you know? My job is to be the the, the, the the meaty beacon to bring people together. But, like, without you lot, I'm just a guy yelling at himself in his room. <laughs> so... Um, it is sad when some games end up kind of rotating out from streamable. Like, Sniper Elite 3 is getting harder and harder to get people together as the game gets more and more out of date. Um, I had another look at Sniper Elite 4, and I can't recommend it for our squad. Mainly because it's got a fecking skill tree in multiplayer. So it's like, unless you're prepared to play for 20 hours, you're just gonna get wailed on. That's not fun! And a distinct lack of um, fecking Panzer Shreks in multiplayer. Well, Jackie, that's what we gotta look forward to. Um, Sniper Elite 5 is coming. Also, the fact that we can do invasions will be very funny. Uh, again, I'm hoping we get to choose our character for invasions, because whilst... Okay. I do not believe that playing as a... Playing as a character necessarily denotes support of that character's group. Um, I take such joy in killing Nazis in that game that being on the other side makes me feel a bit weird. So I'm hoping I can choose just like any operative and my job's just to get the other person. Yeah, Alnus, you're entirely correct. As last week provided, put Panzer Shreks in your game. Uh, and a sorry, Watto friend. 
Right, I'm just I'm just having a nap with everybody. Uh, and Roki, it's understandable. Like, the one thing I will say is the amount of work that it takes to do this full time. Oh boy. Like, I hear stories about people that like work and stream full time at the same time, and I'm just like, how? How? Like, But that's another story. Yeah, and interestingly, that's what I'm hoping the invasion mechanic is. I mean, we'll still have a... Um... Yeah, oh, interestingly, that's what I'm hoping, that's what I'm hoping. And Fearless, you're right. Thor does stream full-time and work, but his work is also his stream. Rather than it being like, job, stream, the, the overlap between the two is solid. Uh, and also, Thor works too much. <laughs> like, it is a well-documented fact that Thor could certainly stand to take a few breaks. Um... The Catastrophe was saying that the pressure of being seen would get to me long before paperwork did. I understand that. Um, it's trying to balance finding new friendos with not being a self-promoting air horn of a knobhead is very tricky. Like, I'm lucky because a lot of you lot are peeps that have kind of been with us through the start of this little journey. So, it's, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. I'm trying to find ways to do more that fit, that sit well with me, you know? Honestly, like, I'm, I'm on a bunch of different social media platforms, and the ones that are just for promotion, I end up falling off. So I tried using Hover for a bit. I just, I just stopped caring. Because it's just people promoting at each other. Um, I enjoy TikTok. But not for what I should be doing. I should be being like, Hey, it's me, a streamer. Come look at my face. But what do I do? I get drunk and do dumb parodies of uh, Red Dwarf or Piss Boiling or drinking with myself when things are bad. <laughs> uh, sorry, we do have some news on the new Sniper Elite game, but not too, too much. Um, the big ones being, uh, there's going to be an optional, optional, invasion mechanic where another sniper can join your game and counter snipe um it's going to be set during in europe uh lots of big castles and big over-the-top ostentatious uh nonsense and you will be able to kill nazis Well, so, Roki, like, okay, Roki, I am not the person to give advice on how to stream for a living, or how to start to get streaming more. Um, I had a, I had, I had the, just the right kinds of fuck-ups to plonk me in this, to find the lovely people you see around you in chat. Like, my life exploded, which, in my personal life, was my fault. In my professional life, was not my fault. Um, and so I found myself unable to work, living on a friend's sofa in Seattle, and he let me use his PC when, during the day while he was at work to stream. And then I... <laughs> then all of this happened! And now we're coming up on four years! <laughs> um, yeah, four years next... Um, but there is a lovely individual, uh, Dinsdale, uh, who is also bilingual. Uh, he speaks Armenian and English. And he makes that very much part of his online, I don't want to say persona, because there's no character with Dins, but like, being able to speak two languages while being online is a big powerful skill. Yeah, Asari, Lizzie, Dins is great people. Oh, Fearless was saying drunk parody with Red Dwarf. It's, TikTok's a strange place. 
but I find it has enough weirdness to inspire me to do dumb, funny things. <laughs> yeah, in Catastrophe, I should. There are some things I should chill for, but I don't. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. <laughs> Alice, uh, congratulations. Give yourself uh, one point to your house. Uh, because yes, that was a garage's cover of Back for Good. Legend found out on TikTok about frog wrestling. Uh, the best thing I found on there was that um, the process of making marbles involves the use of a marble run whilst they're still glowing hot and it is the coolest looking thing. I mean, there's a lot of shite on there as well, but it's workable. Oh, speaking of promotion, just because a couple of people have joined us. So, this Saturday is the draft for the G3 Gundam Challenge. Uh, we are going to decide who rules the gamers industry, G Gundam style. Um, there will be a list of games companies. Um, depending on your dice roll, everyone will take turns in picking their company. And then, come the start of E3 season, we will all compare our little Gundam builds. Uh, and in a knockout format, we will decide who will be the true winner of the games industry. Um, as I've said, you can buy an $8 entry grade kit, paint it however you want, take some photos, and that's all you've got to do. Uh, the winner will probably be the one themed around that company or that company's games. Um, I will be picking uh, some... I'll be picking a judge from the Gandam space, I'll be picking a judge from the games industry space, and somebody else that's kind of cool. Ah, uh, and Catastros, thank you kindly. Yeah, so unless we decide to swap it up and play Tunic tomorrow, the game that Catastros is listing, uh, Blood West, is what we'll be experimenting with tomorrow, because it looks very curious. Oh, oh, then you are, you got, you got one more season, and if you haven't done it, uh, Gundam Thunderbolts is the next one after that. Though Thunderbolts, um, get, go for the OVA if you can, not the movie, just because the movie's good, but the OVA gives it more room to breathe. Uh, Nenny Chan says, do ordinary acrylic paints work on Gundams? Um, you'll need to prime them first. So, painting-wise, you can do them just like, um, uh, the plastic kits same kind of materials uh, and the reason why uh, the other reason why i recommend these entry grade kits is that every piece locks together um is unique so there's very little uh, and the duplicate pieces are, are usually things like you know back of leg joints and stuff like that where it doesn't matter which one you use it on so it makes it real easy to pull apart paint put back together um Uh, I got. <sighs> I am a very lucky person, and I know this. Um, some friendos got me a an airbrushing kit and a little ventilation tent for Christmas, and they dropped it off uh, on Sunday. Where? Oh, okay. In the magical future, the idea is there's going to be an airbrushing station there, so it feeds out into the window, which I'm really looking forward to. I just need to get this place, you know, <laughs> not U-Haul boxed up. No, I am real lucky. And I guess that's the other thing that's 
the other thing that's allowed me to stream full time has been a shit ton of luck. You know? Some chance meetings with people that ended up becoming good friends. Like... Oh no! I want fearless... Thank you so much for thinking of me, friend. Like, thank you. Oh. Oh, we're cool. Well, so fearless, I mean, do you get... It's not wasted work. <laughs> anyway, I tell you what, let's get let's get Hades going before I start feeling stuff. <laughs> oh, Wolfcrag, thank you. Uh, I just there's so many of you here that I got to know through a chance meeting at an event or a pub or something and some of you I only know from the internet, some of you I know from, from both, but I know how lucky I am. But thank you. That's all I wanted to say. It's been really interesting talking to people about this. Because as I'm slowly getting closer and closer to GDC, people keep asking, like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I'm full-time on Twitch these days. And they go, well, what's that like? And I'm like, I spend my days talking with friends about video games. I'm fucking ecstatic. That's the best. Sorry, garages. I need to take a beat and a breather. Okay, down on Dwarf. Go do some work. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day, all right? Oh, and alleged. Get some sleep, friends. Get some sleep. Yo! <laughs> See what I've... Okay, proving my point in real feckin' time. J-Post, you fucking legend. <laughs> J-Post, thank you kindly. Not o Like, not only have you given me a lovely little gift, but you've also helped the devs that made this. That's feckin' kind of you, so thank you. Shit, yeah, I'm gonna accept that gift. Shit, yeah! Okie dokie. So, Fearless is saying, keep an eye on the mail. Stuff I got for Fiona's birthday should be there tomorrow. Uh, when you say... Uh, did you order them off Fiona's wish list, or did you send them to the P.O. box? Uh, I only ask because I'll have them forward it over, you know? What? Okay, then absolutely. You know what, J-Post? I'm, I'm sorry I missed your comment. Even, even with my currently very caffeinated skills, I do miss stuff. J-Post, thank you. Uh, Katastros is saying that there's an exclusive mission narrated by Hideo Kojima, or his full name, Hideo fucking Kojima. Yes, that is his middle name. Um, yeah, the PS4 version of Control has an exclusive mess, uh, mission on it. Oh, boy. I wasn't aware of that. Hey! Darren! So we've got 600 purple turtles, 200 gems. Let's do a bit of renovation before we sell off. Uh, you were saying the, the tunes are late game. Um, <laughs> that ninja, how are you doing, friend? Watto and welcome. Yo, that's feckin' cool. Uh, Catastros, I was not aware of that. Alright, you know what? I'm saving up for the aquarium. As tempting as it is to, to have 
beautiful petals drizzled onto Zagreus as he comes out of the water. Oh yeah, okay, so we did speak to everybody before we called a, uh, a close yesterday. Alright. Alright. Wow! I feel like we should just save up for Fated Persuasion. Like, God's Legacy's rad and all, but... Yeah, Red Burning Dragon, let's go kill a dad! Second friends. Okay. Nope, uh, we are good. Oh, Gelden. Sorry, I just saw um, uh, Almas with it. More like Hades, Hades nuts. Uh, um, as you know, hitting GDC next week. Um, I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little excited, but the trepidation of getting sick is also pretty real. So, boy, am I going to be careful as. But one of the things that I was talking about was like, I'm a really positive person, especially in gaming spaces. Like, even when people are pitching me things that I'm not keen on, I don't get in their face. I'm not a jerk, but I feel like considering how rancid the pay, uh, the play to earn space is, if anyone starts pitching me enough to stuff, I'm going to get in their face about it. Uh, and so Sam was suggesting a few like, um, you know, if people start talking to me about NFTs, just start trolling. Just be a teenage jerk. So yes, I will be asking if anyone's NFTs run under both of these um, uh, networking system so they ask what's both of these <laughs> and the question answers itself uh, also I have concerns about the Ligma protocol uh, especially when it comes to safety of Nuftas uh, um, uh, book saying I could do the backside of fated persuasion Um, which is cheaper uh, and you're right I could um, I could then go through it and respect but that seems like effort so let's go start killing stuff well okay so fearless uh, the thing about GDC is the proportion of the conference that is like died in the wall game developers is very high but there are also middleware Salespeople, people trying to sell you, uh, oh, shield today, lovely. Uh, people who are trying to sell you uh, B two B products, people trying to sell you payment systems, people trying to sell you, you know, engines, proprietary software, etc. And Nuftos is going to fall very much into My that. Shield. Uh, now, this was the change source shield, wasn't it? Aegis. Become a blitz disc. I feel like we had a lot of work with that one. Oh, sorry, we had a lot of success with that. That kind of hurt. Yeah, I want to keep the shield. Um, and so I think that's where the the nuffers are going to start bleeding in. I just, I wonder how many D's nuts jokes I can make. Another day in Tartarus. Or night. I have no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I do want to see how many D's nuts jokes I can make at someone whilst they're trying to sell me an NFT payment system. Um, oh, on the subject of piss boiling. Um, <laughs> urinal film star and um, internet degenerate uh, Dr. Disrespect made some announcements on his uh, upcoming game 
that uh, you guessed it, Nuftas. Oh please. Um, from the uh, the understanding of the uh, the statements that have been put out, uh, they're going for a God, I forget the term of it now. Uh, a DAO, I believe, is the term, uh, where basically the f uh, a ten thousand people will be invited, not like first pre order, but invited to spend money on a Nufta that will be an in-game thing, but also gets them to, to vote on game development choices. Um, now, again, if you're not familiar with the DAO concept, um, again, watch Foldable Humans' uh, line goes up. That'll explain it really well. TLDR, it's kind of like shares voting, but I can't imagine anything more heinous in a video game space. Um, and it, this is not a diss on anybody, it's just what users feel they want from a title is often very different from what they need. And asking users early in development what they think can be detrimental to your overall product. I know that sounds weird. It's like a good community manager or like a good product researcher will be able to get you the information you need in this regard because quite often you need to listen to what people are to you need to listen to people's intent not their opinion but that's a whole nother kettle of monkeys um i feel bad for people working this game because apparently a lot of them are ex you know cod triple a developers so no doubt they were promised like creative freedom and things like that to get them past it and now their creativity will be dictated by ten thousand people on the internet and if any of you have seen um, the coverage of the remake of Dead Space, that is a really good way, that is a really good case study for why consumers shouldn't be consulted during the development process. And I don't mean don't do market research. I don't mean don't do like intermittent testing and things like that, but just out and out being like, hey, what do you think of this? Don't, don't do it. Um, people have been picking apart some very, very early footage of the Dead Space remake. And I mean, picking it apart. Because it's such an influential game. It's something that's so key. The developers have even said, this isn't final product. This isn't how it will look in the end of the game. But what do you think of X and Y? And people treat that content going out as if it's perfect. Um... Oh yeah, so who do we want to go for for Spinning Blade? Um, Ares does have a Blade AoE. That could be fun. We could go for Doom, da Doom, da Doom, Doom, Doom. Yeah, let's Doom it up. Let's be Doom. Uh, Petula, Petula, Watto friend. Hello, hello. And Katastros, you're entirely spot on. People don't know what they want until they actually get it. And, okay. Okay, I promise. I promise this will not turn into an Elden Ring conversation. I just... There is a lot of criticism being leveled at Elden Ring, especially from creatives in the gaming space. Um, that game sold 12 million copies already. 12 million. For a game that is not... For a game that is not free to play or heavily microtransactioned or based on an external IP, hell, it's not even. I mean, if you want to get technical, it's not based on an IP at all. It's a new IP. It has done 12 million units. Ho! Huh. Oh, yeah, Catastrophe. FromSoft will survive the criticism. It's more the point that it's hard to look at. It, when you listen to the pain points and criticism of the title and then look at the amount of success it's having, like... Users... Users will always express an interest in what has come before. Articulations and sometimes homogenizations on what they have seen elsewhere. You can't... Give, you, pe no one will come to you with I want new thing. Here is new thing you've never thought of. Anyway. 
Uh, Petula Petula says, how far have we fallen where we need to praise a full price release for not having microtransactions? That's a good point. Um, it, it's... See, Petula Petula, one time, it's, sometimes I do hate having as much industry knowledge as I do. Um... Oh, wow. Wait, are the different shield... What do you need there, pal? Wait, do the different shield forms count? Aegis. So if I go Aspect Me. of Zagreus... Zeus. Myself. Because I could have sworn we got further with the shield than just... Um... No, I've never beaten... I've never beaten Elysium with a shield. All right, so I guess I'm still playing on no heat. No heat, no heat, la 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 la, no heat. Zeus. Idiots! There will be heat! But you just said. And I'm going to upgrade it. It's just shield for each bounty. I've just not played good. All right, boof. He just reveal your secrets. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I've never beaten the oily heel with a shield. Um, now, Ninja, I do think that Elden Ring is an interesting game to discuss. I'm just, I'm going to call a wizard veto on it today because I think everybody's, I think everybody's had to put up with a lot of, uh, of takes and conversing around it. Um, I'm just happy so many people are enjoying it. Like, anytime we have these moments in the industry where everyone gets stuck in and has a great time together, it makes me really happy. I know I'm not getting involved with it right now, but I know that when I do, I'm going to have a great time. One more time. All right, so we're going Doom Shield. And I guess we could go Doom Rupture. That's always been a fun one. Or Dio Doom. Like, uh, Doom and Hangover. Let's be bastards. No, weirdly, I know your to come here have repeatedly been thwarted by good kin. However, we have caused such violence in the intervening time that we must take this as a real victory. Let us continue for however long it takes. Heck yeah. Ooh. Intac uh, attack inflicts Doom. Do you want Doom on attack and Hangover on special? Ninja says Doom Hangover is meta. No, Doom Hangover is mix and drinks, my friend. <laughs> Doom Hangover is uh, is grape and grain. Oh, you know what? I think I will have wine and beer at, at the same time. That sounds like a great idea. Petula Petula saying Doom Hangover is a code word for Friday, right? After St. Patrick's Day? Yup. Violence. Alright, so I'm going to go... Cool. So I can still dash attack while that thing's spinning. Lovely. Louds. Okay, we can make this work. And we got a reroll early, which is lovely. Yeah, and Harmonious the we've caused so much violence that it's effectively been winning regardless of tangible success. That's a very airy statement. When Pyrrhic Victory still has victory in the title. <laughs> if we don't, we don't get Dionysus on this bit, we can take him when we get to the next area. Here they come. I'll 
set. I can make this work. I can make this run work. Ooh, two re-rolls. Interesting. Um. <sighs> but yeah, no, sorry. I, I wanted to articulate what Petra Petra was saying about complimenting AAA games on not having microtransactions. It's easier... Ooh, chaos. Uh, it's certainly easier now for them not to need to have the same kind of aggressive uh, payment schemes. Just because games... Well, games should be getting cheaper to make. Okay. Uh, had a lot of Aphrodite, so I'm going to roll for some chaos. I don't do some fishing. It's it's that thing of I don't agree with the way. Wait, where's my fish in? There we go. I don't agree with the manner in which it was done, but I do understand why companies were doing it, especially for big AAA games, because games have a locked price point. As as we've indicated, users do not want to pay over sixty dollars for a game. In some rare situations, they will pay eighty, but they will expect there to be additional stuff for it, or it has to be big launch you know what i mean users typically look to spend 40 dollars and below on a video game so if you make a game that costs more than a shit ton of sales at 60 dollars will get you you've got to think of other ways to kind of like supplement your income now logic dictates that what you should do is make them cheaper but unfortunately that's not how the battleship company system works that's another story so things like optional cosmetics um season passes, microtransactions, things like that. They've all been born out of this kind of desperation. Now, actually, no, saying that is unfair because there are a lot of shady practices, but I understand that it's not pure evil. Yeah, I, I'm Petra Petra, I mean, yes, not having to develop your engine from scratch, not having to, you know, brute force a lot of content and a lot of uh, art assets and things like that. Hang on, let me grab this fish. Got to hold nice and still. Bite this. <gasps> Perfect catch. Starting off this fishing day strong. All right, let's go hang out with Chaos. All right. So Where in the... Uh, see, Aldous, I don't disagree. I, I do think that's a, a little bit of an oversimplification. It's a simplification that no one sits down to say, you know, make a game that costs all the money. A larger portion of the time, um, you have to budget out how much you think a game will cost well in advance. And if it runs over that, you've got to hope the publisher's got deep pockets. Unless you're self-published, then funding your game is a whole different Kevin Monkeys. I just... Oh, sorry. Go for the double boon. In Elysium, shop or double boon? Double boon. Um, if you can survive it, you'll come out of that so much more powerful. And in Elysium, if you can avoid spending at least more than I do, especially when it comes to like the, the shop before Theseus and stuff like that, then it means you go into the next area with a big old wedge of cash. Um... So yeah, so Petula Petula, stuff like Project $10 and things like that. Things that were incentivized to get users to to buy full price early on. Like, I understand them. It's just... You are already back, and you are always welcome to the son of Hades. <laughs> well, where are we going to put the monkeys' catastrophes? If not in kettles, then where? Um... I think Caustic Strike just... Okay, Caustic Strike or Halting Influence? Because I don't want to go for reviews, uh, for rewards are hidden. That, that'll feck us up early on. <laughs> the shop of these years. Oh, but no, the thing I did want to say, uh, I'm not excusing microtransactions and season passes and stuff like that because much like with pre-orders, while they may have... 
All right, everyone's talk sand strike. All right, thank you. An acceptable decision. Uh, how are we doing for booze? Oh, we're out of booze. All right, let's get some booze. We can get purple maples later. We don't have a lot of superpowers. Uh, our doom attack is now stronger. Lovely. All right. It seems Aphrodite is coming with us on this one. Okay. So we got. We're gonna have Ares, Aphrodite, Dionysus, and whoever the hell else wants to come on this little adventure. Sorry. So petula, petula. Uh, I don't disagree with what you're saying because while not all of the monetization models that we encounter came from nefarious places, kind of like um, pre-orders. A lot of them have become nefarious in nature. Um, I think it's... I'm going to pick on um, Capcom's Umbrella Corps a little bit because that was not a game. That was barely a vertical slice. But let me tell you, it already had in place all of the microtransactions, monetization schemes. It already had in place all of the ways to make money. Letting us know as consumers that they were thinking about how this thing was going to turn a profit before they were thinking about, okay, how, how I make fun. It is very interesting that all of the um, multiplayer entries that Capcom has been trying around the Resident Evil franchise have been disasters. But because they've all been tied, they've either been like cheap standalones like um, Umbrella Corps, or they've been tied to an existing- You've been waiting for this, haven't you? They've been tied to an existing product. And Doom on this guy is gone. Ah! Stay out of my way next time. Darn right. Look who jumped into my spinning blade of death. Athena or Hammer. So, friends, is there, are there any, um, like, baseline Hades tips that you can give to Asari? Because, like, I take, I mean, everything I've learned, I learned from you lot. So, it's usually, like, Hammer, Boon, and then decide what else you might need. Because a, a Hammer upgrade can, t can put us into the winning corner with, if we get lucky. Oh, what is going on down there, dearest? I thought for certain you would make it out, but it seems that nasty place has kept you grounded, hasn't it? But don't despair, and you take heart, won't you? All right. Aphrodite's aid already? <laughs> we. All right, palm or coin? Honestly, let's go coin. More cash for shopping later. Oh, lovely! Fearless has made a little chicken fried rice. Oh, bugger, yeah, I'll have to make a sarnie at some point. No, 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 no. No need for crystals. Oh, I didn't have Hang on, let me just beat this guy. switch to a new effect okay i'm glad i got that attack because oh boy i got stung by a few of those bombs there and it was not fun and michael 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 what ho friends I, sure, I just, I just need to get paid i'll be with you in just a second let's make this quick
They had their chance. Eh. Could have done better right. if that little cheeky bugger wasn't standing out there. But yeah, so jumping back, jumping back. Um, we have reached the point where there's quite a few AAA products where the over-focus on how they're going to monetize it ends up eclipsing what needs to happen for it to become a great game. Um, and EA's been really, really guilty of that. Oh, and by the way, I mean, Dad's mad at us, but you know what? I've got a lovely coffee. Surrounded. I got a lovely coffee for playing Hades today. It's hard not to be happy, friends, you know? game reminding me that almost there I trust they inconvenienced you at least me, 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 me. <sighs> oh shit spooky ghost is back do not let them build the pyramid stop them stop them no no quickly Quickly! Oh! All right, crisis averted. Crisis averted. Oh. God. I will say, when it comes to talking about like cash and monetization in video games and stuff like that, I do sometimes wish I could go back to being just uh, an internet commenter, like a I can't believe video games are doing this thing, because like. Sometimes it's really heartbreaking. And sometimes when it seems like a company is doing something egregious, they're actually just doing what they need to to survive. <laughs> Alright, anti-pyramid bomb has been dropped. Thank you, Phyllis. Uh, and get Ned with an exceedingly long cat. So yeah, I don't resent companies for working out ways to find to make money. And honestly, like... You know, the, the golden the golden situation to be in is where the method by which your game makes money is also the way in which your users enjoy. Something that works with your title that people can engage with that keeps your project afloat. Or, I mean, or spec for games that are affordable and sensibly budgeted, but that's another matter. All mine. I mean, you get lovely individuals like Zalavir, you know, making projects with sensible budgets and constraints. Let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to spend a little bit of cash for some cheeky heels for a bit. Because it always feels like it doesn't matter what sphere of video games you, you come down to. It doesn't matter what your, your craft or your profession is in the video game space. It's always a management challenge, right? Even if you are completely free to do whatever you want, money no question, standalone indie, managing time then becomes your big challenge. You know, how much do you invest in which features? How much time do you spend on X, Y, and Z? Because... Otherwise, you may never release. And, okay, after speaking with Steven when we had that great interview with him, like, and how he was saying he was loving making a game with his kids. And he might not release it because the, the joy of making it has been the big part of it. And, oh, God, I respect that. Like, that, that right there should be the goal, you know? In video game space is to either be stable enough or to make enough money where you can just make that passion project. But that's a place that we you have to work towards. And we might not all get there. You know? 
it's more likely that you will be involved in a very big project that, like, that does gangbusters. You know what I mean? Let's go see Baldi! Oh, that's way cool! Sorry, as a small aside, Fearless was saying that uh, during freshman year of high school, the third grade teacher hired them to come teach their kids to do some basic programming. Had them make a simple choose your own adventure type game. That's lovely. Lord. Alright, look, I don't want to do a back in my day kind of day. But I am reminded that when I wanted to start making video games when I was a kid, what I got was a C++ starter book and um, uh, a good luck. Like, these days, you can... Uh... Okay, no. There were some drop and drag... Just on a little break. Hey, Hello, don't worry. There, there were and still are a lot of drop and drag, uh, no programming necessary engines. And while the RPG maker scene has a weird a weirdly bad reputation honestly the things you could make quickly in that space and some of the creative uh, concepts that came out of it were feckin brilliant you know i was just thinking sir sometimes i am a little envious of you and baldy there you seem to have things pretty figured out i still grow frustrated with myself quite often and don't always know whom to turn to oh oh <laughs> well i just think you're in a tough spot lately prince but you'll get through as for old Baldy, why, by all means, do not hesitate to lay your troubles on him if you like. Dumped all of mine on him a while back. So I can just walk up and talk to him and chat? That's all it takes? That's truly all it takes to make a friend sometimes, indeed, Highness. Aww. Now here. Uh, cash, please. Then here you go. Uh, Michael 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 was saying that they get the companies have to make money, but a lot of games don't have to be service or make money uh, from uh, microtransactions. Maybe the scope and the budget, maybe scope and budget things for that. Yes. Oh, Michael Michael Michael, I just, I'm just going to go for Michael for sure, though it does make me laugh saying the full thing. I couldn't agree with you more. Um, and I promise I won't be rehashing the same conversation topics, friends, um, but it's often referred to as battleship game development, where because your games do well, you hire more and more people in more and more specialised roles until your team becomes very, very bloated. It becomes able, of, able to do one thing specifically, and that's where the, the battleship analogy comes from, because they're big, they're weighty, and requires a lot of fuel to keep going. Um, for those of you that... For those of you who don't understand, the, the era of the battleships is very much over in naval combat. Although carriers are a thing, but that's not a story. Alright, okay, well, I'm going too far into the, the guts of the analogy. My point being, if those big companies could look at making smaller games and rotating them, you know, kind of less like... More crop rotation, less like super battery farming of devs there'd be less risk on each title to be the one that keeps everything afloat, you know what I mean? But, that's another story. Okay, and I know, at this point, I'm just being an idealistic dumpy. One of the, the upsides about spending my days with you lot is that I'm not responsible for a team of 50 people. Like, if I don't do my job good, yes, I biff up a stream, people don't have a good time, and okay, I'm responsible for this household, because if I do if I don't do a good job, then we don't make money and we don't get to eat. That's another story. My point big, it's easy for me to be an armchair studio executive. But I really do believe in like diversification and creativity. Like, so you have a multiplayer game that does gangbusters. It's entirely fine to make that a games of service game. But using that money to create uh, other titles, like like little two-year production cycle titles, make it, pop it out. How is it? It's all right. How is it? It's all right. How is it? Brilliant. Wonderful. You then have your branch off. 
oh man, if only there was a studio that had done lots of different creative games over the years, eventually leading to their grand success. Where would we FromSoft find such a company? Where would they be such a FromSoft example of such development principles? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so Salem, it's a different style, but you are right. Um, so Salem was saying you're playing one of those games right now. I mean, from what I would say is that Supergiant have have kept their size, the size of their team down, allowing them to stay creative. You know, well, we what we spoke to um, Scar Studios ages back, and they were a team of two. So when they had a game that flopped, they didn't go under. If they'd had a team of fifty, a flop would have meant studios done. Book, we will not be referencing the battleship movie. Anyway, well, let's talk to Baldy. Um, Baldy, I'm Zagreus. Good to make your acquaintance. I know that friends are difficult to come by here in Tartarus, and so I'm grateful that you seem to be a trusty one. No. Thanks, Baldy. Take a quick screenshot of that. I, uh, okay. I think he likes you. <laughs> Shaq was saying that the shade was shocked when Baldi deigned to talk to us, yes. Um, and Phyllis, you're right in that their projects have grown in scope and scale, but they've also done smart business. Again, Hades was a year-long exclusive on the Epic Store during its early access development. And let me tell you, that did not come free. I don't know the exact amounts of money that were exchanged, but there is no way that Epic did not give them... Oh, we're about to do uh, eight. Farewell, then. Uh, Alna says, Sisyphus is too nice to be here. Oh. I mean, I don't disagree, but there's something to be said about, like, I forget what it was that Sisyphus did that was so heinous. Sharon? Oh. <laughs> Ever the talker. Hello to you as well, mate. You know what? Let's get some help. Don't spend it all in one place, mate. I don't know if we should go for a, uh, a random boon, because that will denote the rest of our build. Yes, Catastros, we know that Epic paid a lot of people for those exclusives. Supergiant definitely got paid as well. And again, smart business. Do your early access over here, and when it's complete, launch the game that everybody loves on, you know, the big platforms to resounding success. Brilliant. Um, what say? Oh, oh yeah, we were talking about, like, the Supergiant method. Yes. Um, now, the Supergiant method isn't one that I can tell you to do. Because it would be very difficult for you to put together a team of 10 and then have a game that would succeed as hard as Bastion did. Like, Bastion was a right place, right time, great game. You know, it was the absolute spearhead of the uh, what would become like the new indie movement that would, that would lead the charge and usher in this kind of gold age of indie games that we currently live in. Um, the Zalavir method is probably a better one, what he calls pizza money, which is making lots of little games that generate little bits of revenue until you're able to transition, you know, enough money to buy a pizza once a month to I can leave my job and develop video games. And growing that is probably a more sensible maneuver, but again, keep your team small, you know. Thank you. 
And friends, I've been in studios that have just had a big success. And it's like every fiber of your being is like, let's hire more people. Let's hire more people. Let's do more. Remember that thing that we wanted to do for this game that we couldn't? Let's do it for the next game. Like, let's hire five more multiplayer people, 10 more artists, 17 programmers. You know, let's fucking go. And it seems like no one's such committed a good in idea this chamber. Time. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, Phyllis, uh, Phyllis was just uh, agreeing. Um. Uh, and uh, sorry, I'm not sure how much of that was Sisyphus, because I think that's a there's a bunch of different myths there. But the thing that, that I love about Sisyphus is he's very honest about how he wasn't great, and he's had a lot of time to think on that. So, like, the lovely person we see now is... Tisiphone. Ah, uh, murder. 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 Hold that thought, friends. I've got to handle murder. infestation Fucking ghosts 50 pieces the ghost waited Some days I can just handle that boss Always like it's no terrible. big deal. And some days just Never get enough. wrecked. Alright, harmonious. Hold on. <laughs> Murder. It's been a mad duck. Alright, so next off. Keep I'm feeling power. I'm feeling Dio! All set. Uh, anything for shopping? I'll take a cheeky heel. I'll just take this one. You know what? Honestly, right, we're walking away from a fight. That's a success. Going up. Um, but yeah, I guess because we've had a few people, new people join us over the last like couple of days and stuff. I know it seems like I obsess over like the business and the money of video games. Like oh, this heat. But I think. The way the industry is right now, I think it's one of the things to talk about the most. Right now, if you can find it, there is a market for just about every kind of game. And ideas are now so commonplace. So just the need challenges... To get from here, across all that. Yeah, you'll be fine, mate. You'll be fine. It's just a little toasty. Um... Sorry. The question in video games is not if, but how. And how is about money. And that's just the long and short of it. Like, and I, I would love us to live in a, you know, an idealistic, you know, utopia where we just get to create art. You know, I, I would love for us to reach the Star Trek ideal. And that's what I'm really hoping. Oh, and Chrono. What? But right now, making a video game is about money. Can you support yourself whilst you make the game? Can you bring together enough money to hire people to make the thing that you want to create? You know, can someone offer you enough money that you can become involved in that project? And then the cost 
what you can do is very much denoted by what you can afford. What we're talking about today is not going to the absolute maximum, is to look within the scope of what you can do and make something safely within that space and go for that, rather than like bringing it to the absolute brink. Um, I've talked a lot about Brigador, which in fairness has managed to pull itself back, but friends, Brigador is an absolute like nightmare story of how not to develop the game. And I, I only talk about it because the team's been able to pull it back, but it's a story of emotional breakage and hard times. Oh, and Catastros, I will uh, get the my Sisyphean knowledge in just a second. Night. Spicy Euros. Okay, so Catastrophe said, okay, so Sisyphus got Zeus steamed up when Hades or uh, Thanatos, depending on the interpretation, came to get him. He tricked them and claimed, uh, and chained them up and fled. When he eventually got caught, he tricked one of the Chthonic gods to release him and he fled the underworld until Hermes dragged him back. Hugh the Boulder. Wow. Okay. Uh, sorry, I apologize I didn't get that from yours. I mean... My, my dyslexic ass does hey, struggle sometimes. You think sometimes. time fighting through all of that? Not that I'm keeping track. I'm keeping track. <laughs> Thank you, Hermes. Alright, so when you are hit dodge, each time you uh, attack speed faster. Alright, make money, money, make money, money. What? Today, that. we get paid. Yeah, might as well. Yep. How foolhardy of you. Extra 90 gold. Good enough. We're coming out of this paid up. Okay, sorry, Pom. It's hammer time. But yeah, and I hope you don't think that I'm just boiling down the creation of art into money. Like, if you just download a like, game maker or the equivocant tonight and just start churning away at it, you don't need to think about, you know, you don't need to think about the cost. But. Having the conversation with yourself about, like, you know, what can you afford to make, what's viable, is an interesting one. A lot of the most creative games we've seen in recent years have been born of, I wanted to do something big, but didn't have the budget. So how could I convey the experience? Done it. much better than it should have. Okay! Your bull rush deals 400% damage to armor. After blocking a foe, gain 20% damage and move speed for 10 seconds. Okay, breaching rush is what will win. Ferocious guard is the fated choice. Yeah, Petra the Petra, you know what, that's a much more succinct way of putting it, is that you can make art for yourself, you can create art on an empty stomach, you can't do that in a team for at least a year. Yes. It's like, Breaching Rush will help, well, you know what, I don't think we need Armor Break, because we've got Doom to Doom to Doom Doom Doom. Alright, so... It's not too heavy. So, after blocking... Alright, so, help the money, we're doing great for money. And Biggs! What ho, friend? Hello. Um, thank you again for that gift. That was that was a lovely thing to, to you know to boot up the PC and see this morning. So 
do thank you. I can block separate of the shield doing its spin attack. Alright, so... ah, uh, I guess Icy Grand Grand would have worked for this one, but we're going for, for Dionysus. Uh, Stammering says that one of the tutors drilled a sentence into my head, and it makes so much sense when speaking about creative industries. Wouldn't it be cool if... should be one of the first sentences that people say, rather than how much would we make if? Yes! It's just... Wouldn't it be cool if... And then how you choose to make it. Wouldn't it be cool if you could customize your character in our game? Cool. But how? Do you have a 3D model with, with assets to swap out? A 2D paper doll? Like, what's it going to be used for? Do you need to animate it? Like, that's where the question comes in. The great art and craft we're seeing in indie games now isn't... A lack of creativity it's a translation of that creativity into systems that you can make does that does that make a weird sense oh no oh you can't block that Something tells me giving a, a bevy to the, the god of booze is a great idea. Lord Dionysus, mate. You must have no shortage of supreme vintage at your disposal, but this one's from me. Oh, so, okay. Jackie was saying AI generated customization. You draw on it, and AI generates a model from it, like the NVIDIA demo. Yes. But, um,. How much is that going to cost? See, the reason why NVIDIA and teams like that put out those glorious demos is that for uh, unless unless it is already uh, a feature of an existing engine, they're usually trying to sell you that tech. Why, Zach, how positively thoughtful, man. I mean, I love it. Positively love this stuff. And I am very moved that you would think of me for it. Dionysus, your treasure. And you're right, Alnus, I shouldn't bring Deusa into this. You're right, she is too pure for this place. Well, so Harmonious, I do want to say there's a difference between understanding cost and uh, maximizing profit. Like, the sweet spot is making enough to survive and continue and being able to make the creative choices that you want. The goal isn't to be a squillionaire. The goal is to make sure that you and the people working your game will be able to keep going for another three years. You know what I mean? Oh, Zag, what happened last time, man? It seemed like you were rather close, but then we couldn't see you anymore from here, and now you're back? Well, give another go. Uh, your special inflicts hangover. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Fountain is tempting at this stage, but the Hangover Special is what we need. 
Like, Spinning Blade does Hangover. Dash Attack does. So that's our Hangover. That's our Doom. Um. But yeah, so Harmonious... I, the interesting thing in video games is that due to the... Due to the the bloat of teams, um, like in in all honesty, aside from a handful of people, I do not think the publishers sit down and start money grubbing hands. I do think they genuinely care. But what ends up happening is, as the game becomes more and more expensive to make, the publishers get more and more nervous, and that's when you start seeing all the good nonsense. Oh, Satan says Bull Rush also does Doom. Thank you, dude. It does. Doom, 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 God, Invader Zim is a treasure. Absolutely, we'll take more drunken Thanks flourish damage. Thank you kindly. Okay, so we've got purple nurples or key. I didn't hear anything else from there. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Katastros was saying that the um, the witches was a way that uh, they test their build. If they can destroy the witches, then they're doing good. If the witches are a struggle point, and they're having a bad time. Okay. <laughs> Hades, can you please display a modicum of seriousness for once in your wretched life? Zagfire will. Do 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 do. You can just you can hear Ares just letting out the, like the longest head shake of a sigh. Hmm. Uh, more health or rerolls? More health or rerolls? Uh, we've got two rerolls, so I might. Yeah, I'm gonna go for. And we're off. Because at this point, what would it be? It'll be the the Ares Dionysus combo. Um, All right, who's next? I mean, if we. I'm not saying this just because I know Artemis is basically a fucking long shifted favorite. An NB hunter. Who, whoever could have guessed. Salen saying a few years, uh, they heard a verified story that Ubisoft's CEO got irritated that his executive team were too separate from the games and issued an ultimatum that each of them had to lead uh, others in something over the next few weeks. It was very wide open as to what type of experiences they could bring since it wasn't market research, but instead couched in, we're here to make fun. We need to share how fun, how that fun happens with each other. Uh, there's plenty of stuff to take issue with Ubisoft, but the concept of what is fun is still a core part of their decision making. That's a very good point. I mean, it may not have done gangbusters, but 
the eye of the globe. Uh, it may not have done gangbusters. Worth it. But um, the Rainbow Six team has done great, and honestly, Rainbow Six Extraction looks like a ton of fun. I feel it just had the unfortunate had the unfortunate duty of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Halo Infinite, which I wouldn't wish on anybody. Alright, is this... Okay. 22 isn't just before the boss, right? 23 is just before the boss. If I remember correctly. So we can go Hermes and then go shopping. No. Um, as an aside, one of the things that did strike me today was watching a developer complain about bugs with a game and it did show me the ah um here's someone who has never worked in the trenches before and i looked at their profile and the individual in question was a uh, a narrative lead i'm like ah okay yes uh, it shows um but no it's sometimes it's so complicated talking about companies because we get such little information unless you've actually been in those studios and it's hard because there are no okay there are some but like you get you get ubisoft which we talk about as one entity but it's really three different studios uh, a friend of mine worked at one particular ubisoft studio and she said they were feckin' great to her like all the horror stories that they were hearing of the other places the corporate involvement the sexism and worse that wasn't in their little space. But the problem with how we perceive games is that we don't... It's just it's Ubisoft as a bubble, right? So sometimes it can be hard to pick out the good working practices from certain studios and share them because of the bad that's happening. You know, the horror stories I've heard about what's going on with Skull and Bones makes me very worried. But that's not been the case for every Ubisoft studio, do you know what I mean? Alanis uh, says uh, on um, uh, what was it Red uh, Red Faction Outbreak bloody hell uh, on uh, Rainbow Six um, uh, whatever it ended up being called uh, releasing a game about an alien space virus in uh, in this 2020 probably not the greatest idea I mean some people would go for the old you know if you can fight against it you can go for the empowerment fantasy but it thematically is a lot less fun. Uh, and just Catastros adding that big studios aren't exactly transparent about how they work so then becoming singular entities is kind of inevitable that's a good point big companies being you know one brand one style one design does mean that it's very easy for consumers to treat them as one big entity hell the amount of industry mother hubbards we have in our little chat right now talking and we can only get tangential stories here and there. Like, you know, rumours and whispers and, and half friendly aid stories. Obviously, I wouldn't share a friendly aid story. You know what I mean. But what we can understand about those spaces is very limited, even with the amount of knowledge that we have. Here, fishies. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I reference it to be old enough to drink right now. Fishy! Fishy! Got you. Oh, almost. Another crustacean. Oh! I might have caught a crustacean, but we gained a string of pleas. What ho and welcome, friend! Hooray! For fish! Okay, so I did kind of biff it there. We got Hermes instead of shopping. So. Re enter online. Sensors hey! online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Aquistarsen. Indeed, Aquistarsen, as they're pronounced in Wales. <laughs> Laura, how are you doing, friend? What ho and welcome. Feels like it has been a thousand years. Um... <laughs> uh, Laura is informing us that they've... Um, that the Stardew Halley... Ha, ha, blah, blah, blah. 
I've forgotten how to speak people words. More on this story at 11. The Stardew Valley horse has been named Woach, as apparently they're going through an oo phase. Um, but on the subject of contagions, oo Is this the gift that keeps on giving? In the name of Hades. Okie dokie. After taking damage, dash to recover. After you dash briefly, become sturdy. Greater reflex. More dash charges. More dash, please. Because that gets us out of the reach of dad. <gasps> you da dare you invoke the old terms? I have not heard. I have not heard of glomping. Picture the scene, friends. It's a second wave anime convention. Friend, uh, people who have existed on badly torrented videos, uh, overly priced VHSs, and the newfangled dovdas available. Which would contain four whole episodes of a show per DVD. It's the second wave anime convention scene is taking off. The concept of the glomp, a flying tackle hug, um, which harem anime needs to apologize for from now until the end of time, um, is one of those concepts that in animu is adorable and lovely and wonderful. Uh, in the real involves a whole ass person going airborne and vertical at you <laughs> with nothing but your rickety teenage bones to stand between you and death i have not heard the term glomping and i am i am glomping glad that it has been removed from our vernacular do not do not return yeah, the glump is basically a horizontal suplex. You just go at someone, like, Ugh! Thud. With practice and with foresight, one can sturdy one's frame against a glomp, assuming that person does not uh, out... Does not... I wouldn't say outweigh, because it's not about weight. It's about momentum. Uh, Laura just adding that if you were good at glomping, you're probably uh, actually undiscovered rugby talent. Yup. <laughs> Why is that the thing you play? Um, Laura also adding source uh, was okay at rugby till glomped by a better glomper. Oh God, I'm just all I can hear now is an uwu descriptor of rugby as a sport. Okay, I'm gonna do violence to a hydra. And I try and forget about this, you know, rugby uwu. Oh, j Post, I saw many a full force one. All right, what flavor of Baxter today? Oh, fire! Oh, wonderful. Surround yourself with lava. See if I give a hot back. Oh, I remember when all these little hydra faces would freak me out. Mm. Back in murder. Sorry, uh, conversation will resume in but a moment. Aphrodite. How 
Hadouken! And there we go. Could have gone better. Certainly could have gone worse. Oh god, Alna Snow, not the rugby union. Oh, it was nasty to say. <laughs> Book says one of their tasks as a staff at an anime convention back in the day was to disperse groups of hugs before they reached a critical mass, at which point they were unstoppable and risked trampling. That's a very real fear. Alright, do we want cash or do we want Artemis? Because if we get the arrows on damage, we could start doing some absolutely <laughs> shit. Okay, because I like giving people a choice. Catastrophe is like, Artemis, why even ask? RT never miss, more like. Oh! I will say, as an aside, for someone that worked in Twickenham, um, rugby crowd was always very strange. Like, of all these sporting events, which I don't know if you're familiar with this in the United Kingdom, but all sporting events are a thinly veiled excuse to get fucking destroyed drunk. I'm sorry, that's just the truth of it. Um, the rugby fans were always a curious lot. They'd never fight. Uh, they were always exceedingly pushy, but never violent or never violent or mean. Pushy, but never mean. Uh, and let me tell you, when Twickenham Stadium used to empty out after a game, it was like Dawn of the Dead because they all leave at once as this wall of humans. It's fucking fascinating. Alright, so let's get Artemis' arrow. Uh, and then... Because we don't need an extra 100 gold for uh, for this bit, so... <laughs> yeah, people who are... People who enjoy being a wall, or are built like bricks, are usually rugby fans. Correct you are, Freddo. But let me tell you, like, um, I've, I've never seen a level of drunk a crowd for I think it was Harlequins versus All Blacks. Next region. Uh, actually, the last time my my last final drinking challenge that I did, um, which was um, the Golden Mile, twelve pubs, twelve pints, was in Dunedin when I was in New Zealand. And let me tell you, we used an All Blacks rugby game to cover for how drunk we were, because we were fucking gone. Lovely place to have to smash my way through. <laughs> Smash or pass. Shit! Why didn't I call- Alright, the next stream is definitely being called Smash or Pass. Ah, uh, arty off the bat! Feckin' yeah! tiny little cart to hang over. Like, it feels like I'm doing something wrong. Oi! Like, they don't sound old enough to be drinking. Sorry, I think those things a lot. I'm not sure why the tiny meow, Alnus. I think just to make me feel guilty. So, Aphrodite reached you first, did she? Sounds exactly like something she'd do. She has a knack for trouble. So, let's just stay focused here. <laughs> oh, it's your treasure. All right, True Shot, uh, Hunter Dash, Pressure Points. Uh, true Shot would be useful, but, like, Pressure Points is feckin'... The Pressure Points is the winner. Alright, and yes, I know I used to be against pressure points because it was only incremental, but 
Pressure points has probably saved my ass more times than I care to count, especially when it comes to kicking that well-oiled, scrotal bastard, Theseus. I really am not a fan of him. Come on. Uh, so, Jackie... Uh... I am sad to say that there won't be a next Golden Mile. Nothing against your good self, but uh, the other thing... Hey! This meowing and exploding chariot brought to you by the Oatmeal and the Exploding Kittens card game. Oh, dude, oh. your mind. Thank you. I'd happily take that Oatmeal money, you know what I mean? What's new? I forget what we need to be able to stack Doom multiple times. I can't remember if we need a specific. Ow! Freaking cat! I can't remember if we need a specific combo for that one. Or if it's just uh, late game Ares. They're finished. Alright. Explosive return? Feck it, why not? My shield grows stronger. Take a few off the, the old list. Ooh. Two boons. Don't mind if I do boon. Uh, sorry, Jackie. Here's me being uh, a little bit wavy davy today. So, uh, I decided to say goodbye to competitive drinking a few years ago because. The problem with getting older isn't that your tolerance goes down, it's that the damage that it does from consuming goes up. So, I did the Golden Mile back in Dunners, and that was going to be my, my farewell to competitive drinking. And while a few times uh, I have been known to flare up with my competitive nature, I have not done it since. There's a... There's a definite culture clash that comes from growing up in the UK and living in the US as to the purpose of drinking is a very... Oh! Almost missed this. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take a cheeky deal. That's a relief. And feck it, why not simple purple knuckles? Why not? Um, I don't want to go into it too, too hard because it's a topic we've spoke, spoken about a lot. Um, but... I've, I've managed to stave it off because I kind of realized if I continue with my competitive nature when it came to drinking, it was going to do me a real damage. Because I got taught what my friend liked to call the Gattaca method. The Gattaca method of drinking is save nothing for the journey home. The Gattaca method simply is a, is a way of thinking in that I don't, like, I will sit here until I keel over but I will sit here until the other person falls first. <sighs> yeah, Sailor, now it's a collaboration rather than a competition. Yeah. <laughs> um, and actually, to, to quote uh, Nora as well, like, if we go by the teachings of Lemmy, Lemmy said a lot of things. spurned Artemis before, but I have spurned Ares a lot, and it turns out they get scarier the more you spurn them, so... Neutrality was not an option here. Uh, after slaying a foe, there's a tactical special, blade dash rift, after taking damage. I might reroll, because all of these are lame and butts. What should you order if you just want a small drink? A martini. And you can only get it at a mini bar. Oh, 
Pun Spectre, thank you kindly for the 200. You terror. Our best form says drinking together instead of drinking against each other is the essence of growing up. That's very true. That's very true. And, alright. I will get arty farty about the subject of drinking, which is probably not the best of conversations, but I've always had a philosophy that drinking, I mean heavily drinking, means that you must you must both understand and face your true self. Like with all pretenses or uh, self-aggrandizing elements, all all possible fronting that you could have stripped away, you must deal with your true core self. And it teaches you a lot about yourself. Sorry, I guess that came from nowhere. Also, Harmonious, like, moving it away from the personal into the cultural, it is so different. From country to country, the philosophies and concepts around drinking, God, it is so different. Um... I'm going to re-roll, because I don't want any of these. And I've got the dice to do it. What else? Yeah! Bonus doom damage! Shit, yeah! Ah! What made you think I'd stand for this from you? I'm sorry, Artemis! No hard feelings, Lady Artemis. Spoiler, they're she exceedingly hard forever. feelings. Absolutely no one. Lady Artemis does not fetch around. Oh, damn you crystal bastards! Zagreus, you passed my little test, so now we're good, just like it never happened. Which is unusual for the gods, but okay. Okay, so true shot, you cast Seek's Foes, additional. Your dash strike deals more damage. After you deal critical damage to a foe, it is marked. I mean, I guess a hunter's mark could... Oh no, that's for a foe near it. On the subject of like uh, drinking and otherwise, like the only thing I really have to to add to the conversation was uh, thank you again. I think Shackle who got me watching the uh, the overly sarcastic productions on the different uh, Greek gods. Because uh, while I was aware of air quotes the cult of Dionysus, I wasn't aware of one how real it was, or two like the philosophies behind it, like the idea of the worship of the state of intoxication. And that it was a very smash the state kind of uh, religion to be a part of. Uh, and it was, uh, they attempted to stamp out the, uh, the followers of Dionysus for quite some time, which surprisingly didn't work. Yeah, um, hedonism, it's more than just a pastime with good company. Right, you feckin' are. But I, it's one of those things that you you read a lot of history stuff and sometimes you you can know something without absorbing the full knowledge. Uh, do I need a cast? I guess I need a cast. Alright, you can't hurt. And the Hunter's Mark's not really been a winner for me. Uh... 
can't think that uh, Aphrodite's gonna add anything super strange. What do ghosts enjoy drinking? Oh, they'll drink anything, as long as it's filled with booze. As long as it's filled with booze! <laughs> Sorry, Fun Spectre, thank you for both the terrible jokes and the 200 bits. Right. Keeps me going, friend. Keeps me going. I'm grateful for both, right? So, you know what, if... Uh, okay, so more health, good idea. Aphrodite could be useful, but she doesn't really have a lot to offer this build. It's all about the Doom hangover, right? But if that puts us up against uh, the Minotaur, then we can chip away at his health ahead of time before we have to go up against Theseus. Say pasty, Sadlin, that's not fair. Someone was sharing around a video of someone serving somebody like decent tea and crumpets, and I'm like, no, I want crumpets. Crumpets have gone from being a budget option when I didn't know what I wanted to eat to being a rare delicacy that I must seek out. I don't know what to do. I don't have crumpets. This is lame and butts. So, health or Aphrodite? We're at 200 health now. We can stand to have a little more. <laughs> Eat too many, it's a crumpet blast! Ah. Uh, and I haven't had a pasty since I've been away from the UK. Like, okay, I wasn't a pasty snob by any means. I enjoyed the Cornish Pasty Company pasties. The old steak and ale. Oh, especially if you're like a little drunk or a little hungover. Ah, oh, gorgeous. fucking live off those at, uh, at college. Because they were cheap and they filled you up. Uh, oh, the challenge chest is money and we're up to like 800 gold already. I mean, that would put us over a thousand, meaning we'd be going into the, um, the last area nicely loaded. Uh, so, Perio, so far our source has been the British import store in Redmond. They sell crumpets by the packet. Which, for those of you based out of the UK, you cannot understand how much they are charging for crumpets. God, it's crumpets. Um... Although I will say, as a dyslexic person, mixing up pasties and pasties, I mean, I'd say it's a mistake you make only once, and yet. Um, Ark of the Conclave, I, I'm trying to decide if I want to go for cash. Feck it, let's get some more money. That is private property. I can't. Every time. Sorry, what was that, Dad? I couldn't hear you over me I'll kicking the uh, the hot snot out of all your peoples. Yeah, we have a ton of cash. Mid-boss could be Minotaur for an easier final fight. All right, let's roll the dice on it. Yeah, under Dionysus, there is no private property. Dad! Yay! Well, short one, it seems I must attempt to maim you here so that the king and I might finally stop you at the gates. Which you have done in the past. You know, you hurt me with this short one business almost as much as with that axe. Why isn't Theseus short one? With the same height. <laughs> Point. 
No. The king is greater. He is the greatest king of Athens. What are you? A willful son of a fickle god. I am beneath your father's notice, and you are beneath the king's. Now fight me. Wow! What got up your horns, you bastard? Theseus, I said hi. Theseus, he can. I'm not going to finish that sentence. I only said something In very the bad there. All right. Resist some damage from nearby foes. Uh, your dash deals damage uh, where you end up inflicting weak. I mean, life affirmation at this point, meh. Reduced damage from foes could be eh. <laughs> Laura adding, look, listen, I love Asterius. He's just has a bad boyfriend. They're messy and I love it. Yeah. He is he has shackled his horse to a strange car, and I can respect that. <laughs> Alnus asking if Asterius is the ship of Theseus. Why are you like this? Um, we could go for Passion Dash, lol, because I can't think of another one we want. The Dionysian Dash, maybe? Uh, reduced damage might not be bad? <laughs> Alright, both Petula Petula and Laura are like, Dash! Dash, 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 dash. Alright, Dash it is. Gives us a little kind of uh, magical girl transformation dash. Who dies next? Sometimes in this game I feel like maybe I am definitely Hades' son on account of all the evil shit that I do to some of these creatures. And then I remember how much they've hurt me in the past. Uh, Catastros, I wish I had your uh, your confidence. I'm, abs I'm vehemently against losing to those two, despite the fact that it happens so frequently. Yo, wasn't someone saying I should try and take the yarn of Andre with me? Get the yarn. Okay. I mean, we're loaded for a change, so feck it. Uh, the palms aren't really going to offer us much, so let's get more cash. Just don't get any boons. Okay. Okay.
sandals. I'll just take that. Yeah, it's Andre's yarn. Look, I've managed to get through so much of this game without actually calling it the Ring of Ligma. But every time it pops up in Charon's world, I'm like, <laughs> Ligma. <laughs> yes, I am a child sometimes. But then again, you know, taking joy in the simple things in life has its has its plus sides. Ah, oh, darn it! I mean, yay that we're here, but darn it, because I spent money on a death defiance. Yeah, the palm of Bofa. You again. Named after the Greek philosopher, both of these. Yeah, I think you're right, Peshla Peshla. We'll go for the heels, but let's have a chat. Even the bull of Minos couldn't stop you, huh? That's one whose way I would stay out of if I could. But, well, you'd not be here if you couldn't handle yourself, I guess. You heard I battled with the Stereos here, sir. I thought you kept more to your own devices. Weren't much for conversation with the other shades. Good point, Sailor, good point. That we get great heals and full death defiance. Can't wait to see how much of I lose to the oiled bastard uh, in You're correct in that assessment, stranger. But as you've seen, I've no ability to stop others from coming and going as they please. So I do tend to hear a thing or two from passers-by. It's probably going to turn out that, like, Theseus has got some really sad stories since coming to Hades or something. And, like, I know, Asterius is just keeping him from, like, having a full-on breakdown. You know, he's got he's to keep his man, like, lifted up lest he break down. Next five chambers restore thirty percent when you enter. Yep. Just checking up on you, sir. Sadly, we don't have any booze to give him. But all right, so we're avoiding boons for the time being. Okay. So we'll go for the health. Ah, oh, shields. Bastards with shields have got to go. <laughs> On the plus side, because I can boomerang this dang thing, it does mean it's much easier. It does make it much, much easier to do them a murderous damage. That's something. Like a whole bunch. Oh no, just Harmonia saying, Theseus, by all accounts, was a jerk and deserved of scorn. Alright, chamber 34, so this is before Theseus, so I'm sorry to Dionysus. Promise I won't be ignoring you. Oh no, Armus! Hit the spot. Just what I need. Alright. So, friendos, as we've... Jesus, it's nearly three hours. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick pre-break uh, in case I... Uh, <laughs> in case I wee myself with rage fighting um, bastard pets. Uh, bear with me all just a second. Just a second. All right. <laughs> and Orchazini, what ho, friend? Uh, I'm just going to take a quick bathroom break, and then we shall continue with crushing that oil bastard. And hopefully, by bringing in the yarn and avoiding picking up the stuff, I have. Okay, the yarn is something I should have guessed from earlier based on the myths, but I have no idea what it's actually going to do. 
but hopefully we can pick up enough good booze in the next area to make up for it. Um, Orchesini, oh, I'm having a lovely day. I'm having a lovely day. There's still a whole pot of coffee. Uh, we have a whole day of Hades to hang out with. It's it's real good, friend. It's real good. All right. Hold that thought. To be continued. Hello, hello. I have returned. More coffee in hand. Bit of cheese. I'm going to make myself some proper food after this run. Like a proper sarni or something. I just... Require a little bit of old Battlestar Snack Galactica. Okay, J-Post. I almost missed that. Terra. Fred's saying, uh, I hear that Karen has a side gig as a loan shark. Well, you should, uh, should look into that. I don't want to think how long it's going to take me to get good enough to be able to beat him. But it will certainly be entertaining. So cheers all. And Thraxanon, what a would welcome. Also, oh, um, Yaki Sakura, did I say hello? I hope I did. Okay. <sighs> all right. No but... urns permitted in this chamber. Yeah, the urns are forbidden. Right, here we go. Theseus and the Winer Tour. Eh. A challenger. Ha ha! Why you look, dick! Asterius, the fiend returns. 
The rumors that he fled to haunt the surface must have been mere lies. God, if you're wearing pants, I'd give you a wedgie. Well, no, in this case, those rumors must have been quite accurate. It's just I'm back. Realized I didn't want a future for myself that didn't include crushing you repeatedly like this. <laughs> ah! Sag! You legend! Oh, oh, such clever excuse making from one so versed in treachery. Well, if you are indeed contained within this realm, then we shall be delighted to make sure it always stays that way. Now come and fight. Theseus, a hero from the Bronze Age. Okay, so, the conversation didn't trigger this time, but I do highly encourage that you try to bring the aunt to this fight a few times. I do promise that it'll be worth it. Hey, I believe you, friend. I believe you. Uh, and both Vanderbeest and Catastrophes. Thank you for the bits, friend. Very nice. Yeah, another bottle of the good booze. Shade and... boss, didn't we, Shade? Yeah! It's my number one Shade! Oh, Malky Zucker says it's because Grandma misses us. We haven't visited her in a while. Oh. So, withstood the finest of Elysium. Again. They weren't that great. <laughs> they weren't that great. Alright, give me my acorn. I'm coming for you, dear. What have you got for me? Health? Don't need it. I'm out of here. Check. We've got 900 gold going into this section. Let's go shopping. Watch out, Vermin. Um, I don't know if this is relevant, because uh, Katastros was mentioning the, uh, the dialogue tree, uh, the dialogue system. Supposedly, it's ingenious. Uh, people make games with a whole episode on it. Oh, and uh, Fan of Beast. Thank you for filling the pine glass. You are fishing! <clears throat> Sorry. Yo, I can get Hermes and the fancy uh, Ares just to start. Time to fish. No, no distracting! Fish. Ah. A scuffer. <laughs> Spooky ghost trying to. Trying to save some fishies there. Alright, so first things first. Give me the doom. Give me the good doom. Give me that doom da doom doom. Your boatman there is a reliable deliverer of death, it seems. And that makes three of us, I think. 
Oh. There we go. Dire Misfortune. Doom effects deal more damage when applied multiple times. Yes. This means war. Now, is there anything Hermes can really give us right now? Or should I pick up these two? Alright, let's have a look. Because I'm honestly thinking of just picking up the Doom, da Doom, da Doom, Doom, Doom. And our choices are... Yeah, so there's Dionysus and that'll be the next one to go for. Because, like, we've got the dashes. I mean, maybe he could offer us an extension, but more Doom? I think this run belongs to Ares. Feck it. I want boons! I want lots of boons! Always a pleasure, Charon. I give to you this token of respect. Buried though it must have been within the boatman's hoard. Uh, so after slaying a foe, your next attack or special deals more damage. Eh. After you take damage, inflict doom on the foes around you. Blood Frenzy used Death Defiance. I, I could re-roll. I mean, we're not going for anything specific. If I was going to go for anything here, the Curse of Vengeance. Yeah, all right. We're, we're late game. Let's re-roll. Let's be spicy. How about a different set of choices, then? There we go, baby! <laughs> Friends, I am so sorry, but I must inflict upon you all the curse of longing. <laughs> Thanks, you two. Dad's gonna get fit. And now, if we can get something that uh, inflicts more weakness. At first, I didn't know how to get through to that odd river boatman, Charon. Turns out he lusts for coin, and now I understand him well. That is an interaction that probably would have been hilarious to watch. Alright. Your weak foes are more... Oh, sorry. Your weak effects are more potent. Feckin' yo, let's go for that. Alright. Then we hit Dionysus. Hopefully for a little buff through our hangovers. And after that, who knows? This one, I guess. Yeah, baited and good. Hello. You're dead. Doesn't taste like anything. Pay attention at this point because what I don't want to do is uh, end up costing us a fucking death defiance for no reason. Because that would be my bloody luck. Game. I'm actually gonna play just like I mean it. Hello there, Dionysus. 
Crisis. There we go. In the name of Hades. <laughs> Whoop! There it is. Hangover effects deal damage faster. Whoop! There it is. The curse of nausea. Oh god. Okay, so we're going to be inflicting both longing and nausea onto our foes. That is the ultimate hangover. What is this stuff? That's the kind of hangover that makes you want to make send ill-advised. Uh, text to previous partners. <laughs> Sorry. Hope this can get me out of here. All right, so we still got three hundred, so we can possibly buy uh, that Hermes on the way out. Um. Cash isn't really an issue right now. I love you so much, I'm vomiting up a storm. <laughs> Sorry, I made the joke about the uh, the ultimate hangover being a curse of longing and nausea. I'm having flashbacks of some really bad times lying on the couch. I'm like, oh, that got too real there. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, no, JP's right. You get the longing for the X, then you realise it was a mistake and become nauseous. Uh, I'm thinking Aphrodite next because I, I don't think there's any boons Aphrodite can add that are bad. We're at 250 health, which is all right, but like 25 health extra, meh. Uh, more like bullshit weakness crossover. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Way. The palms aren't really gonna be a uh... crushed. Anything I need. Um, Should be handy. Take the, the cheeky heels, but I don't think the passive will carry through against Dad, so I'll just save it there anyway. God, this is just brutal. Like, it's, I'm glad we're the son of an underworld god, because it explains just how vicious we're being. Like, no offense, Zag, but you're, you're showing a little bit of your father here. your hooves in hell. Go clop in hell! Not bad. Olympus, I accept this message. Alright, so what have we got left? Uh, your weak effects have longer duration, resist damage. Honestly, like, weak for longer is probably better against dad rather than reduced damage. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go for. Because whilst things are weak, they're getting hit more by doom, etc., etc. Oh yeah, yeah. Weak constantly dooms. Alright, so we're up to 500 gold. Should I get some stuff from Hermes? Because like... I mean, where are we going next? We'll, probably, we'll go for health next. Yeah, feck it. We've got 500 gold. What are we going to spend it on? Thank you, mate. Okay. 
So we've got greater evasion whenever you're hit, chance of dodge automatically, auto reload, quick favor, your god gauge charges up automatically. <laughs> no, here goes. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going for health at this point now. <laughs> Doesn't taste like anything. Oh, just uh, Katastros was saying that um, there's a jingle from the animated cartoon series of Hercules uh, where Cuba complains about Aphrodite having uh, a short jingle when she shows up to do her thing. And it's been stuck in the head. You know what? It's strange the things that lock in with us. No thanks. Oh, as a quick aside, uh, how many of you all have seen... Uh, I forget if it's called red or just if it's called nice sight. just red or red panda. Uh, but because if you were wondering of whether or not you should watch it, it is very very Tasty. good. Turning red. Thank you, Nene. So I've got enough brain power for video games and not dying, and that is about it. Uh, it is glorious, uh, and I highly highly recommend it to everybody. at the moment, thanks. Oh, Nene also really enjoyed it, yeah. Um, at some point, I kind of want to sit down and do like a side-by-side -side with uh, Encanto and that, as being kind of like new things produced kind of like side-by-side. -side. I still haven't, I haven't had the brain power or the time to really digest. Yay! We did it. Um, I haven't had like the the brain space, the time to digest in Kanto as a movie. Something for Cerberus. <coughs> bit of an aftertaste. Yes, just a little bit. And at some point, I do need to do that. Time to deliver the goods. Oh, sorry. When I say uh, it's a, a thing that I need to, to digest, I don't mean that I need to uh, annoy you all with white guy opinions on movies that aren't uh, about me, but more the case of... I watched both films. Uh, I heard a lot of good things about Encanto, watched it and kind of felt meh afterwards. Uh, and I thought, okay, well, that's probably just... Uh, there's probably cultural hooks in that film that I don't have, you know? I had a very disjointed upbringing with no real, like, cultural identity. So, that's understandable, right? You know, I didn't have a strong sense of family growing up. I didn't have a strong sense of, like, you know, we came from this place. So, just kind of... Um, but then I watched Turning Red, which has the same kind of cultural grounding. Well, I should say that I have the same disconnection from its cultural grounding. And yet, I came away from Turning Red and I was like, this movie is great! And I'm trying to digest why that is. But, like I said, it's something that requires a lot more brain power than I have. Funny that I can deconstruct AAA budgets like that. But if you ask me, why is this movie? Why, why do you like this movie more than that movie? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. All right. Movie talk. I mean, obviously, feel free to talk about yourselves. But I'm like, we have a bullshit and a half build. We've got, God, we've got two duos. Your doom continuously strikes weak foes. Weak is longer duration. We've got that that nice hangover. And doom effects deal more damage when applied multiple times. Yes. All right, Volchi, I think you're about to see someone uh, break dad's jaw. Uh, and double manto. Yeah, those vaccines are no joke. The first 
the first one knocked me out my ass. I should say the second part of the first one was like, I was death warmed up. The booster put me out for about a day and change, so that shit's no joke. You're right, Catastros Pride cometh before the fall. Let's not get cocky. We've got an acorn. We've got three death defiance. We have a build that's all about applying stacks, which I'm good at. But if I get overexcited, I could still biff it. It's happened before, so... Thus has the prince again persuaded fearsome Cerberus to get out of his way. Thank you, Pop. Thank you, boy. <laughs> Leroy! I'm cheeky! <laughs> Damn it! Petula sent me off there. Because there's no guarantee, friends. I went through a whole week of just not being able to beat. Just, uh, uh, actually, Catastrophe, I do not have chickens, so I can't afford to Leroy. Haven't you had enough? So, boy, did you ask her? About how she came to join me in the underworld? Did you confirm all your suspicions then? You didn't drag her down to hell yourself, apparently. You're not going to tell me who did, though I can well imagine. Your brothers got to reign forever on Olympus while you got sent down into the underworld. So they gave you a consolation prize, didn't they? Brutal, but... You make such accusations knowing next to nothing. Careless as ever. Poseidon had nothing to do with it. He knows even less than you. <laughs> if you value her existence or your own, you would be wise to keep it that way. And to turn back. I feel like you're not going to give me the choice. Darkness. Oh, I'm hit. No, oh, Acorn. Shit, Acorn's out already? Authority as Lord of Death, awaken wretches and defend your king. Too slow. Aphrodite, <laughs> face me yourself. Now that was intentional, friends. Be my All right, here we go. Not finished then. Yes! Let's go! Oh, shit, man. Come on. Oh, shit. Try! Oh, 
peoples. Fall blast you. I'll be with you in just a moment. Ah, piss me, piss me, piss! Yes! Nice try, ghost! Nice try. Seek out there. Oh! It's even cooler than the one you know. <sighs> yeah, I just. I, I wasn't there. I wasn't, like, in the moment. And then I realized. I realized. Remember what Sadlin said. Aphrodite's call can interrupt. And that's what I needed. Uh, so, uh, Najali, this was uh, the Zeus shield. And I'll show you the build that we took through in just a second. Uh, what a and welcome. Oh, interesting. If I get right up into Dad's face, I can attack when he's doing that spinning thing. Interesting. Again, I... You... See you at home. <laughs> In my father's name. Okay. Okay. Nah, this was all about... Sorry, Blitz Disc. So there was our curse. There's our hangovers. I'm trying to decide which other cool looking things I want to stack in there. Obviously, Aphrodite's aid to finish. Impending Doom, for sure. Well, now, or oh, knowledge, knowledge, there. Uh, I am exceedingly dyslexic, so I'm giving it my, my absolute all. But hello and welcome. So yeah, uh, this was a Doom Hangover build. So I guess we should represent all of those. So Doom, Drunken Flourish, and then Passion Dash was kind of our... That was our triple setup right there. Although Aphrodite's Aid, just to maximize it out, which ends up being a big choice of ours. Oh, oh Jay Post is saying they have no idea what they're doing in Tunic yet, but it sure is cute and pretty. Doom overbuild. Uh, definitely not our fastest time at 73 minutes, but I do like. Uh, also, we can never clear with the Stygian Blade any faster because we cleared it at 69 minutes almost exactly. But yeah. Sorry, friends. I've had a lot on my mind recently, and I lost focus through the midpoint of that battle and i think you all saw like acorn got crushed immediately and i wasn't i wasn't there and then i had like the little voice of sadly in the back of my head being like you know aphrodite doesn't interrupt and i'm like oh yeah and that's what saved my ass at the end anyway take a nice little screenshot of that all right to some plot uh, and if you don't mind me referring to you as now just so I'm not butchering your username or people name um, hello hello um, so I we've cleared Hades a handful of times we're still very much into the story bits so if you have any thoughts or feels on how I'm playing recommendations for builds etc go for it but any kind of like story bits or reveals please keep it to a minimum like, I do not mind chatting about this game. Hell, this is a celebration of this game. But uh, the story's still... <laughs> the story is... <sighs> even with all the awards it won, even with everyone telling me how good this I game felt was... I shudder. 
I would I will honestly say no one even with all the praise this game received, it still wasn't enough. I mean, Petula Petula, you are right. Maybe I should have saved it for nukes for effect. And that would have been the ideal maneuver there. But, you know, it, what you do in the moment, right? That's what defines it. Well, now then, it's lovely to make your acquaintance. Um, I'm Will. We haven't met before. Just up my head. Uh, I worked in the games industry for a very long time, and then through a combination of tragic and hilarious circumstances, uh, I ended up doing this for a living. Gauge out across that gorgeous sunlight. Beautiful. But yeah, Petula Petula, you're right, a win's a win, but it, I, I, I not only uh, welcome but invite critique because I'm not going to get better otherwise. Yay! Zagreus. It's me. Good to be back. Hang on, just checking for fish. Sorry, I don't mean to ignore you with the brief few moments that we get together every handful of runs, but uh, if there's fish... All right, day mom. Ah, fighter of the night, mom. I feel like the first person on the internet to make that joke. <sighs> I use humor to dispel my emotions. Sacrius, it's wonderful to see you, but I need to ask something of you. That you not visit me again here in this place, both for your safety and for mine. Oh, no. Wait, what? Because of what would happen if the Olympians found out? So, after everything, you're taking father's side in all of this? Oh! Spoken like a true child. I am. Your father is no fool when it comes to matters such as this. Besides, all that has happened... It's my fault. I was selfish. And now both sides of our family threaten to be torn apart. Your fault? So let's say you never left Olympus. Then it'd be just like you thought until quite recently, I think, that I'd never existed. Besides, they haven't found out any of this. What makes you so sure they will all of a sudden? Nyx may be veiling you from them as she veiled me when I fled here myself. But even her own powers aren't infallible. Each time you visit me, you are incurring risk. One small slip, and they shall find me. Discover your deception. Go home, Zagreus. Please. Go home with me, Mother. You came here under false pretenses. I haven't fought all this way over and over again, only to turn back now. I need you in my life. How can you just... turn me away like this? Oh, Zag, buddy. Oh, Zagreus. I cannot return. After all that happened between Hades and me, and everyone, I just cannot fathom the idea. Besides, the risks we're taking would be even greater if Olympus were to find me there with him and you. Hey, like monster. Uh, and now I will answer your questions in just a moment. Then, uh, you're just going to stay here. Alone, in the middle of nowhere, in this little garden, forever. After we part ways, just like that. My son. I know you've made hard choices and sacrifices to be here with me. And I'm forever grateful to have finally met you. This is my home now, yes. While your home is below. Please, if not for your sake, then for mine. Do not return. I love you, Zagreus. Goodbye. Mother, I... Blast. Goodbye. Oh, shit. 
she can't do this to me. Poor dude. Yeah, Zach's having a bad day, and after such a great build. That is a great question, Catastros. Will he listen? Son of two worlds. Ooh, some heavy stuff. Uh, so, um, excuse me. Uh, so now, to answer your question, I was QA, then uh, community, and then I was uh, a comms director. That was my kind of my video game trajectory. Uh, Lagmeister, how was your day going? Watto and welcome. <clears throat> and yep, pesky natural causes again, Hypnos. Welcome to the House of Hades. Just come on in. <laughs> you know what? You come up from the pool. It's the afterlife. You're dead. You know what? That kind of greeting, Hypnos. He's done it, Cerberus. <laughs> All right, I'm talking to the dog before you because you're being a great big joke, but... <laughs> Notoriously vicious Cerberus is watching quietly his master's court. Right, You've always been there for me, boy. Do not let him manipulate you, Cerberus. <laughs> Dad's getting grumpy. Alright. Father, have you ever considered that Orpheus might be much better as a court musician if you permitted him to see his muse again? I have considered many possibilities, boy. And I trust Orpheus considered many possibilities before he signed away his rights to see his so-called muse when once he invaded my realm. So you're forcing him to stay here for eternity just because he signed a contract with you? Contracts with me are binding. Until such time as they dig themselves out of the archives and tear themselves up. And I don't see that happening anytime soon. Who knows? They might surprise you. <laughs> Zing! Oh, book, shut up. Um, Lagmeister, it's going very well. Uh, one run, one win so far. So we went for spinny shield of doom to doom to doom 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 and it, it came together wonderfully. Um... <laughs> Oh, stammering! I, I, I'm sure I said something. I... <sighs> Let's have a talk to everybody. I always meant to ask you, Orpheus. Where did you learn to sing like that? Was it really Apollo himself who taught you? Oh, I, I learned from many different sources, Agrius. That is, before all of my inspiration started coming from a single source. I credit my accomplishments to her and to Apollo and the gods. And to considerable time spent practicing. <laughs> it certainly paid off. I just want to check in on... Uh, oh. uh, check in on Achilles and uh, uh, maybe poke our head into the archives, see what it gets us. Hey, tell me something, sir. Any rumors swirling about the house regarding the outcome of a certain interaction I have with my father recently? Involving a great deal of violence. <laughs> because I'd like for everyone to know, I won. Not wrong. I wouldn't know of what you mean there, lad. For there are certain subjects so forbidden here right now that not even rumors can take hold. But just between us for the time, congratulations. Truly. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I didn't know whether I had it in me. As for the other bit, I'll keep it quiet then, for now. Probably shouldn't be tying my sense of self-worth to praise from friends, acquaintances, and strangers anyway. Wow. That Zag, you got real. <laughs> you got very real there. Indeed, lad. <laughs> did did he just call me out? I think I think I just got called out by a video game. The security log. Yeah. God, I love these. So we've had a couple of good escapes, slow and steady. I forget, I forget what denotes. Oh yeah, uh, discipline of uh, disciple of Aphrodite. I guess that means we got a shite ton of her boons, first of many. Ouch. 
Yeah, there were some some bad times. Those early runs. Oh boy. Well, look at that one. We got a beam and some evasion and died. Hunter's Dash, Battle Rage, died. Fucking Bone Hydra. Fucking Meg. Fucking Meg. I'd go that one, number two. I just died in Tartarus. Yeah! Asari! Congratulations. Uh, friends, Asari has just cleared Elysium for the first time. Good luck. A good luck. Well done. Enough numbers for now. Uh, Infernal Arms, Olympian Boons. Uh, pressure Points is currently our most used, second only by Divine Dash. Daedalus Hammer Records. Uh, I guess the there hasn't been enough of the other stuff for it to get real data, so... It'll definitely be an interesting thing to have a look at later on. Also, we're a fire god, right? We've got flamey little toes. If we just spark off a contract on one of our feedies and shuck it in... I get a whole lot of people out of a whole lot of contracts. Oh, I, I want to talk to everybody before we choose any, um... Please form a line. Um... Before we do any renovations, but we got... Oh, we've only got one diamond. Okay. What, what is saying? the matter, child? I sense your distress. Not the specific cause. Ma'am said don't come back. Mother doesn't want to see me again. I mean, she asked me not to return. Thinks the risk is too great. Oh. That is a fair enough assessment. What shall you do? I like... Okay, Nix's best mum, just because of situations like that. Like, it's not like she immediately goes, well, here's what you have to do. It's conversation question. And also the three skulls constantly freaking out on her dress, which continues to make me laugh. I'm going back. All right, fuck it. Good. <laughs> Quickly. All right, so first things first. Let's chat to Dusa. Always a spark of joy. Say, Dusa, in your work around the house, you wouldn't happen to have run into a skelly character out in the courtyard there, have you? God, no! Friends, how do I how do I ban someone else's Twitch account? <laughs> Please don't. Um, sorry, Imperios was saying Zag could just light a joint with his toes. Uh, he's been running around in sandals for days. I don't even know the last time he had a soak. Like, those feedies have seen something. It smell like burnt toenails. Ah, wow. Oh, not really, um, because my work is in the house itself and well the courtyard technically it's kind of right outside so i'm supposed to stay inside the walls but i think i know who you mean i've seen him standing there just past your chamber doors why is he okay i think so i hope so I've heard enough. Uh, i heard he went all the way to the top cause of death which is curse one way to pass the time Indeed, and I got stuff for you. Lately. Keys, gems. Totally worth it. Keys and gems. Get to the point. All right, what you got for me? Let's see here. Uh, nectar for keys. Nectar for keys. Feck yeah. Let's give some boo. Okay, I'm gonna give some booze to Nix because. Think I'll take it. Nix is like hell yeah, you go. Oh, yeah, uh, Fearless, I nearly missed that special. Thank you. I'll take the special, please. Booze for Nyx. Not a chance. I mean, Denied. best mum and encouraging us to continue causing chaos. We are Among my many children, both those born to me and surrogate to me, you are one of the most thoughtful and most generous of all. Aww. You have always cared for me and protected me. And giving me someone to look up to. This is nothing, Nix. Okay, so, uh, your weapon's Dark Thirst also gives you more gems. Uh, claiming gems also gives you cash. Uh, rewards gems after vanquishing underworld bosses. That's a while away. Uh, the gateway to Erebus. Chambers. 
may contain an Erebus gate. I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> Joke's on them. I can't read. Uh, there wasn't anything we could add too, too much. I guess later on we'll start just pouring gems into these fun stuff. We got a fancier bed. <laughs> Sorry, Petula Petula saying that uh, the Dusa uh, uh, voice actor plays Hades on Mondays. Because Mondays are hell. Megs in the spotlight. Uh, Perio saying he can't read this. Could someone else to read it for you? Uh, I guess I'm gonna need someone to read that for me. Could someone read me what uh, Perio's just said there? <laughs> um, I mean, Petula Petula, we could get work orders. I mean, the current one available to us is. The current work order available to us is Darker Thirst. Dark Thirst also gives extra gems, I guess. I guess. Uh, and Imperios, I think that was our 34th run into Hades. Uh, Catastrophe is saying hold on to diamonds for now. Okay. Because, like... That gives us a bit of extra cash when we collect gems. This increases gem collected from Dark Thirst. And I'm like, meh. Like. And we do not quite have enough. For fated persuasion. So I'll save a bit more because we'll definitely have enough by the end of the evening. New details of another prophecy. Uh, for the host country to help renovate the lounge. Uh, so we need billowing strength and double strike off of Zeus. Alright, is there anything that gives us diamonds? Divine pairings is going to take a while. Uh, primordial blades. Uh, that would have been handy way earlier. Stygian, ballroom. Spear. Reach the surface with a hidden aspect of Rata. Oh, that's clear it with um, Shang-Chi. No, Shang-Chi's the feckin' film. God darn it. Yeah, I may need to, uh, to make up a quick Sani friends before we go on our next run. Okay, so these are also like the Axed Poseidon, Hera, Hades. Chaos Demeter. So I guess those are get a crap ton of boons with the same god, right? Harsh conditions. Slashed benefits. Oh, there's one rare bastard. There's one dire variant we haven't fought yet. There you are. Here I am. Enough with the small talk, boy. Oh, hit me. Go on. Okay. Our next. Oh, next weapon is the spear. Should help me gain more darkness. Um, we had a lot of fun with the post rush. Though I feel like. Buffing the range and speed of the aspect of Zagreus is the way to go. Although, aspect of Hades, spin attack becomes a punishing sweep. That could be rad. Oh, okay. So it's just unlocking the aspect. All right. Well, how much? Yeah, let's feckin' do it. Grant me the aspect of my father. So I'm trying to choose between um, Zagreus but with a tiny buff or whether we go for Achilles. 
Catastros, sleep well, friend. Thank you, as always, for the, the conversation and the company. Willful Son of Two Worlds. That's a great fantasy title. Uh, Bacon says they still really like that they just drew Skelly with a coin under his tongue. Yup. I get the feeling that there's going to be some, some Karen shenanigans with that later on. Uh, Petula, Petula, I did look at the aspect of Guan Yu. It's just, Guan Yu sets you at 30 health to start with. You get life stealing, which is great, but I don't think I'm good enough. Why? Like, the Punishing Sweep is a 30... Uh, attack and special damage for 30 seconds. That's real powerful. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. So we go. Felt all three points on that spear, pal. Weak. Like ten seconds is a long time. And we're back. So Biggs, we actually managed to get a clear out. So we beat Dad with um, the spinny spinny shield of violence. Now the question is, what do we go for now? I'm kind of thinking like a lightning rupture combo. Like, I know I'm picking a lot of shenanigans BS right now, but I guess that's how I'm feeling. Sometimes you just want to bring in some hot bullshit. Uh, Lagmeister is saying that we need to upgrade and even max Guan Yu to get to Dad with it. Okay, that's understandable. So I guess leveling Guan Yu just decreases the downsides, right? Um, so again, I, I will, as always, take uh, any and all recommendations for Spear. You know, the doom to doom to doom 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 is always a favourite of mine. And anything involving Dionysus, because I'm biased. But the the shock and rupture or rupture and doom. What if we make it Doom Wednesday? When Doomsday? Mm, I think I can come up with a better pun. And fearless, I know what you mean, friend. I had a, I, I had a, a people coffee, and I'm still slugging down more. I tell you what, friendos. I tell you what. Let me leave you with a gorgeous view of the entrance to Hades. Uh, I'm just going to make myself a quick sarni, so that's going to take me like four or five minutes. If you'll want to do the same, and then we can decide what we want to do for spear build. Again, I'm happy for shenanigans because. Feckin', like, Dad has bullied me a lot. And especially after that week where I couldn't get anything going. Uh, book saying Artie or Aphrodite on attack would be really good, especially with Hades that increases damage. You know what? That's not a bad shell. Okay, okay. Friends, I'll be back with you all in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Uh, grab yourself some water. Say hello to your, uh, your nearest and dearest. And I'll be back in just a sec.
Hey friends, how goes it? I got some food, got some more coffee. Let's uh, careen. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm running out of space in here, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Anyway, uh, tell me your tales, friends. Uh, I forget what we suggested that we were going to do for, for boost damaging and otherwise. I think people were suggesting Artemis and uh, Grand Grand as a combo. We just go full chaos. Like, let's just chaos egg, full tier nonsense. Uh, please forgive me as I stuff my face. This is one of those I didn't realise how hungry I was. Maybe we go Athena. Break armor. Reflect bad times. That could be a lot of fun. I forget, what was the thing we got earlier, which... Sorry, I say earlier, not today. But in previous runs, what was the thing we got where we ended up having, like, four death defiance going in? Sorry, but that was me nodding along to your comment and not actually saying anything. Oh, okay. So the Cosmic Egg doesn't guarantee Chaos will show up. Just removes the penalty and increases the, uh, the chances of rare or better. Interesting. Here was me genuinely thinking that that's a thing that you gain from... Uh, sorry, it's like the other God Boons. Like, if you take the Chaos Egg, you get some Chaos. Sorry, friends. Stuff in my face like a. I'll, I'll gratefully take any recommendations on how to play this one. God. If you could play every level without picking damage. The pierced butterfly would give you like 71% damage boost. I am nowhere near that, let me tell you.
The one good thing about not having fixed the light in here is you all can't see how much of a disaster mess I am making right now. Well, sorry, you did well, fought strong. Mm. You managed to defeat the least liked character so far in this game, that being Theseus. Congratulations. Hey, how you doing, Caffeine? What ho hello. Tell me your tales, friend. How goes it? I'm just quickly stuffing some Sarnie into my face. Taken call. Sorry, uh, caffeine saying uh, they helped the telephone interview of a 101 year old World War II veteran about his experiences of flying the C 47 Dakota in Europe. Wow, dude, that sounds feckin' fascinating. That sounds feckin' cool. Like, yo. Uh, Caffeine said the gentleman was surprisingly coherent for 101. Feck yo. God, I'm 37 and I'm barely coherent. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. I'm just inhaling some food. Um, no, that sounds fucking cool. Uh, over here, it has been... The stream is going lovely. Um, we've managed to thrash Dad in our first run, which I'm very happy about. Uh, and at least so far as I can see, uh, the games industry has not caught on fire since uh, we started this. Though, uh, like, these days, and especially considering how long we tend to stream for, I do feel the need to check it like intermittently throughout the day just in case uh, Asplosion Give it time. I have faith in human nature. Smile. You know, Bacon? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Anyway, I'm suffering from a little bit of decision paralysis before we continue. And so I'm hoping that a combination of some food in my system and some coffee will shake that loose. As we're about to begin our second run. <sighs>
All right. So anyway, back onto uh, shaking off the cobwebs. Excuse me. Apologies for being a multi-track drifty potato. I definitely needed that food. <laughs> Jackie was saying, a thousand subs, will you wear nipple tassels on stream? No, but that is because... While I am thankful to be a gentleman that does not have any hair on his back, uh, the, the same could not be said for my front. And the idea of waxed nipples is a horrifying one. Uh, friends, will you excuse me just a second?
Sorry for the wait, friends. It's here for coffee. Um. Yes, to coffee. <laughs> And hey, Moose, how are you doing? What, old friend? Hello, hello. Uh, you've missed one run. That, oh, no. Uh, you've missed one run through the way up to, to Dad and beyond. And we're just about to start the second one. I had to stuff my face and sort some things. But uh, I'm currently suffering from massive decise... Uh, uh, massive um, decision paralysis. <laughs> Actually, Hookshot, the good thing about BizDev is that um, when maintained, it does actually get easier. <laughs> it's one of the few things... It's one of the few things that does improve. Uh, Sailor saying fun or meant... Oh, excuse me. Cheeky tea burps. Let's go fun, because we can always go meta for our, our third or later runs. Let's go fun. Let's get silly. So I'm saying, go heavy grandma, go freeze time. All right, let's feckin' do it. And I think we've got to turn the heat up on this one as well. Yeah, so we've cleared it with one, and we've cleared it with two. So feck it, let's go extreme measures, because that way uh, we get to see what happens with the Hydra when it gets better on three. <laughs> Won't get bounties any faster with this extra heat. Oh, piss. You would have better conversation with your chamber walls than with the boatman Charon, boy. Not all those of the underworld are prone to ceaseless chatter quite like you. And Baron Watto, friend. Hello, hello. Ceaseless chatter. My friends, I do want to apologize for like, the state of here. Yeah, Sadlin, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to add as much heat, so we'll see how this goes. Who knows? I don't suppose No. It is nothing, little sprout. It's just I hear such wicked rumors now and then about my daughter. Lost to me. And what became of her. Kore, we called her then. Persephone is what she called herself. Before she vanished utterly, leaving no trace. Wait, Persephone, mother is Demeter's daughter? Yup! Uh, also, Frost Strike. Thank you! More ringers. You're late. Ooh. Okay, that's spicy. Uh, icy. Icy spicy? No, you know what? I wish I not said that out loud. Our uh, sailor is going to suggest a Zeus pairing if the option arises. Uh, cash or health? Let's go health. Survivability alongside. Hot ice! Let's go! Look what I found. 
Minty Fresh. There we go. That's that's our that's our build name for this one. Uh, Nurples for health, keys for reroll. Well, seeing as we're not going for anything specific, we'll go for Nurples for the extra health. And just Aperio's chanting, icy spicy. <laughs> Go for money! I see McHaggis! Damn it, that's way better! Woo! Should fetch me something. Alright, that is a very nice way of doing that. Let's see. Ah, worth it. The spicy grand grand. Oh. oh, not only a little bit of the tasty goodness but also uh, we got some extra damage there I keep forgetting that bevies get us uh, a random pom which is very handy In there. Oh. Olympus, I accept this message. All right. What ho! Happy birthday, Will. <laughs> Crux, thank you for the two hundred. My birthday's in August. Uh, it was Fiona's birthday yesterday. <laughs> Sixty-nine damage from behind. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so. Rare crop. Your boons become common and then gain a rarity every three encounters. This is early enough where I feel that's worth taking. Do you know what I mean? Now, it would put our damage down, but it means anything else we pick up is going to level up. That seems nice and spicy. Oh, shit. It only picks up right now. Uh, it does say the books uh, book saying the attack would become heroic. I mean, I can take Crystal Beam for now. So I could wait and hope we get another Demeter and then do it then. Uh, special over the beam. So just everything's about frosty, frosty fun times. Well, also, Eagle, what ho, friend? How goes it? Oh, yeah, we can... Because uh, remember, we were trying to do the ice wine combo beforehand. So, yeah, all right. Let's save the cast for Dio. All right. Ice cold. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, the spin can get interrupted. This is interesting. Okay, so we've got. Okay, game purples, whatever. Our choices are Pom or Chaos. Let's go chaos! Might as well. Yeah, okay, Moose. So we can do Dio, 
Grand Grand. So we can do Icy Grand Grand we have. Then we'll get Dio and Poseidon in on this. Chaos! Until the bodies of the sticks may wash away my mark, I can restore it. Interesting. All right. So we get us. Uh, okay, the next four encounters take shit tons of damage from traps. After that, gain fifty health. I might take the abyssal soul just to tick it off. I I think I think that's the play. Hookshot asking the important questions. Why is this game so beautiful? I don't rightly know. I don't rightly know. Of course, we haven't seen a chaos fish in fucking forever. He immediately dashes into a trap. So, choices are Poseidon or Baldi. Ah, oh, man, but Baldi's the best! Ah, oh, that's not fair. Yeah. Let's go hang out with Baldi. We can always hang out with Uncle Poseidon later. Good morning, or whenever. And good hey, morning sir. to you. Um, Sisyphus, you mind my asking what you did to warrant this particular arrangement you've got here? Ah. Pushing a boulder till the end of time and all. Never heard it in your own words. Well, it's a bit of a long story, Prince. My time had come, though I just wasn't ready, you might say. Your father thought he had me in his clutches, but then, shoo, I gave him the slip. Your father's henchman, Thanatos, he'll back me up on that. <laughs> Outsmarted Thanatos, that's amazing. What happened then? <laughs> Turns out your father doesn't like us mortals cheating death. Eventually they found me, so now I'm stuck here with my boulder friend. I push old Baldy up the hill to the beat of the Fury's whips, then he tumbles down, and then we go again. So then you're stuck forever. No reprieve. That's terrible. Wish there was something I could do to help. You save those sympathies for someone else, Your Highness. I could be Prometheus, spending an eternity having my liver gobbled up. But instead, I get to stay in shape and have these chats with you. Now, I'd better get back to it. You know what? That's worth a... Uh, that's a lovely philosophy to have, you know? The positives of what you have. Uh... I'm gonna take the cash. Makes Just in case I get lucky with some healing. That previous run earlier where we were just rolling in cash was very good. And wait, we can give a gift to Baldi? Oh, I feckin' gotta do that. What's the latest, Baldi? Had any good tumbles down that hill of late? <laughs> well then. You see that, Baldi? Baldi? While on one hand, I know that making offerings to you won't really help me get out of here. On the other hand, maybe it will. Baldi's going to get so much in the way of stuff. Oh yeah, and Phyllis, it, it begins. It does feel like for this year's GDC, everyone's kind of agreed that it's happening much later than usual. Uh, whilst I was making a sound... Okay. YouTube. Uh... Whilst I was making a Sony, uh, uh, I got hit up for uh, some. I got hit up some Judaser type things. What do we have here? Uh, health or chamber twelve? All right, so this is spending some money. 
I've got hit up for some games to check out at GDC. Which, actually, it isn't a middleware one. It's actually kind of a re Ooh! Let's have a chat. Wait, what? You believed in Baldi, and Baldi believes in you. Damage reduction. Fuck yes! And thank you, Baldi. And there's fishing. God, I can't wait to cock this run up. Look for the light. Look for the light. Got a bite. <sighs> what do you know, a hellfish? All right. So first things first. A bit of Much better. Um, Artemis or the hammer? We've got the money. Should we even get either? I mean, we're going up against the sisters. We've got a lot of chill. Artemis might help out with some extra damage. But by my understanding, getting the hammer now doesn't negate one of the hammers we'll get later, right? I remember someone explained this to me, and I apologies that I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Everybody say, why not both? Okay, so Satan says you'll get opportunities for two hammers later, but only if you buy one now. See, and that's the thing, do we spend 200 now? And, I mean, we all love Artemis, but, you know, what the, this is all about, you know, the chill, the Dio, the combo. Yeah, sorry, Karen. I'm going with Salem on this one. I, I apologize for going against the crew, but... Oh, unless I want to go for ridiculous uh... lasers. You must have gone and signed a pact. Isn't that right, Red Blood? Tell me right now. Uh, no. Well, as a matter of fact, I have. Though I don't see how that's any business of yours, Electo. Okay, so maybe I should have gone for Artemis. Uh, I will admit when I am wrong, I am wrong. I like working alone. And you don't see me doing that right now, do you? So I would say it's my business, all right. Along with killing you. Now. Uh, okay, so chill is a lot like Zeus and oh, sorry. You're going nowhere, boy. Father had to take a little Don't moment to complain. Me, All right, so we start with the Demeter. What was our next one? We're, we're going to go with Dionysus as well, right? Right. So yeah, I'm just going to heavy focus. Uh, OK, 
Okay, so Dio for cast or Zeus for some fun lightning shenanigans. Ooh, we were going for the uh, for the icy combo, weren't we? And the hangover and the chill together would be fun. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna okay. go for for our good friend Dio. Uh, yeah, I'll take a cheeky heal. It's affordable, an affordable heal. I see you, Tartarus. Mm -hmm. Although it does amuse me that we can chill someone right to their bone. The Asphodel Meadows. In a pool of actual lava. That continues to make me uh, smile quite a lot. It's nice and warm out here, I'll give it that. True that. Uh, sorry, the thing I was half apologizing for later, friends, is eventually I'm going to get this blacked out. going to get this set up. Set up. Get this set up ready to roll. Because since we started um, getting back to our regular time, like people seem to have been enjoying it more. Like More friendos seem to be hanging out when we start at noon than when we start at 2, which is understandable. Um, but it does mean I have to deal with the sun, my ancient arch nemesis. Uh, excuse me. And the chaos boon wore off, so it's more health for us. Well, well, look at you, cuz, rushing to victory after successive victory. Caught wind of your accomplishments down there. Well, then, let's keep the streak alive. I'll take what you've got. Your special is faster. Dodge chance. Um, I can't remember if you were saying if the special is if this special is affected, or if it's just the speed of the throw. Because. These are all okay? Like... I'm, I'm tempted to take the automatic dash. Like the... Sorry, the greater evasion, because... Hyper sprint? We're not really focused on special. Okay. You know what? Like I said, friends, I'm very much suffering from uh, decision paralysis currently with uh, this run so any and all pointers and uh, advice and demands are thoroughly welcome How dare time move in a linear and constant rate? Right? I was pretty sure we were going to make this whole time thing illegal, yet here the fact we are. Welcome. Like, I'm pretty sure I made very strict instructions to make time illegal. Apparently I'm just not being listened to anymore. Shock you. Uh, ah, peebles. So the choices are hammer or chaos. I think I might go hammer at this stage. Like, we rolled the di dice on chaos and it was fine. Thanatos. Hey! Death is inevitable. Inevitable. I got the message that you need assistance, Sagrius. More than you know, friend. More than you know. Stand down. Gather round. You. Simple. You. Goodbye.
I did. I think I won as well. You held your own out there. I try. Not a word of this. Yo, we're up to 200 health already. This, this feels like I'm doing good. Okay. Dash strike hits three times. Shorter. Oh, that got me killed in the past. Uh, vicious skewer special deals 50% damage and then 50 on critical or special breaks armor that's going to get me through Elysium so well that's going to help against Dirta I mean that means the backstab is going to explode yeah either skewer is badass <laughs> here comes the boy Thanatos hello boy I am the god of death and you will not mock me! I'm gonna go for Vicious Skewer. And here's Extra why. Pointy. Because as much as I get my... I have a bad time when it comes to fighting. Check the old well. Uh, as much as I have a bad time when it comes to fighting... Oh, I'm not going to bother with the rarities, because if we get... Oh, okay, now we need to go uh, Dionysus. If we get Demeter again that does the downgrade, then upgrade, we'd have to... If we can get that early off, that'll upgrade so much of our stuff. Trouble. First you were a Gorgon, and now you will be gone. I'm sorry. I want you to know something here, man. It's been a bit of a long haul, but you are getting closer to the surface, and you'll get there someday, and we're with you, however long it takes, okay? All right. All right, if I believe correctly, Trippy Shot was the one you were recommending. Um, so, feck yes. Uh, and we get to hang out with everyone's favorite dryad. Hey, you. And hey to you. I haven't made a don't look back in anger joke. What'd he say, hon? <laughs> I mean, about the song. Bet he loved it, didn't he? But I don't know for sure, and I've been wondering. Kind of a lot, I guess. <laughs> he loved it, and has been singing it in the palace, you're fine. Nakira Zero, Watto, hello, hello. No need to wonder any longer. He sings it beautifully around the house sometimes. Aww. It has a sadder sound to it than when you sing, but you've inspired him again, as you've done many times before, from what I know. Aww. Ah, so it's a hit is what you're saying then. I had a feeling about that one. Sometimes you put some words together, and right then and there, you know you've got something special. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Pomp Orange today, and here's why. If we do go for Icy Grand Grands, like downgrade and then upgrade through areas, that means that all of our booms are gonna be brought down to Baby Baby and then get upgraded. So the refreshing nectar increasing in rarity is kind of a, a moot point if we get that. So I'm gonna go Pomp Orange. Sure thing, hon. Woohoo! Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Oh wait, say that not all? One, two, or three, depending on rarity? Fuck! Gran! Why is Gran Gran gonna be so complicated? Go ahead! Oh! J Po says their little Link Fox now has a sword and a shield and tunic. Lovely. Alright, Pom is still a fine choice. Alright, that makes me feel better. Oh. 
I'm not saying that it's officially piss boiling Wednesdays, um, but I will say on the uh, minor inconveniences chart, I probably wouldn't have gone because Judas is coming up and I wouldn't risk kind of going to a crowded indoor space just in case. But um, uh, there was a super special uh, limited edition Gundam thing at Awajimaya. Well, the bookstore inside Awajimaya with like limited edition kits and special stuff you could get. Uh, they didn't start advertising it online until five days after the event. And I'm like, how have Gundam fans not picked that place clean already? Grumble, grumble, grumble. I'll see you. Safe <laughs> travels. Uh, Jack, you just watching the, uh, the Perpiga stream. Okay, so your attack is stronger and inflicts chill more. Uh, your special is even stronger. Uh, I'm honestly thinking of the, the flourish because that's kind of becoming the, the damagey bread and butter of what we got going on. Festive Fog's a big jump. But yeah, I haven't been to that little bookstore next to Awajimaya since before lockdown. Um... It used to be one of my little things where I would go for kind of like a, a trundle. I'll go for the Stronger trundle. still. Uh, I'd go for a trundle across the owl, uh, especially when I was in sad, lonely mode. Oh, this is uh, shopping before bossing. Lovely. Steady now. And I do like that they limit the number of people in there to to keep it safe and stuff like that. Like that's really nice to hear. <sighs> Do we want to add Aphrodite to this? I feel like she's not invited to this party, you know what I'm saying? Take the heal, because I don't... Go. You know what? I'm just going to spend money on health, because I do not know what Mark II Hydra is going to be like. Maybe I won't even make it past it. We shall see. Um, I'm just saying. Oh, yes. So I used to love mooching in there, because it's just so much good stuff. Like... Head on down with a coffee, go explore, have a, have a little bit of a hangout. It was a nice little reprieve. Um, but yeah, well, I'm glad they're taking safety measures to make sure it's okay during plaguey times. And I'm glad they're still going, which I can't say that for all the stores. It does mean that anytime you want to go in, there is a monstrous queue. And um, house long shit, we do not queue. We don't queue. All right, wish me luck. I've not fought level 2 Lenny before. Is it Lenny? Bone Hydra. Oh, um, hey. This is not the deadly Hydra chamber I expected. Not what I was expecting either. Uh, Tag! Good 
needed to start stabbing things, mate. Oh, you can't be serious. Okay, I get it now. Oh, you can fly now? Oh, oh fuck your it. bullshit! What a death defiance! The flying bastard Hydra! Fucking hell! Just a tip from Hypnus, stop standing in the lava. I claimed a bounty. One of these days, I've just... I know I can't kill him, kill him, but I'm absolutely going to dunk Hydros in the... No, Hypnos in the water. Just hold him over to the bloody river and just go like... Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> but, I did it. Yeah, you're right. Hypnos does mean well. Okay, so who do we need for our little gang? Could try did we say one. Zeus was going to be our additional? Or is that overkill? That one. Because right now, who have we got? We've got just Demeter and Dionysus. Well, and a bit of Baldi in there as well. Um, Sailor was saying I'd go Zeus as it's a bit of a greed play, but it's decent damage even if it doesn't come together. Okay. Let's get weird. Like I said, I don't believe this is going to necessarily be a fun build because I did get boost the... Um, Yes. The nonsense all the way up, so we'll probably be fa facing whatever tier two Theseus is, and I hate that bastard at the best of times. So I'm not filled with hope. Lovely place to have to smash my way through. Wink. All right, we've got. Hermes or cash? Set for cash. So let's Hermes! Oh, so Sadlin, I accidentally put it to heat three because I wasn't paying attention. game was even like, yo, you won't get anything for doing this. Uh, and I went ahead and did it. It was very much a how about I do anyway, but unintentional. Olympus, I accept this message. Alright, what have you got for me? Move speed, reload time after taking damage, quickly to recover some you just lost. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Zeus or spear? Uh, sorry, Zeus or hammer? Back. Great. Because currently we've got the increased backstab. I guess the only other one that would be useful is the um, the armor breaker. Not so much for dad, but for getting there. But yeah, the Sailor and the Moose are right. Oh yeah, we'll see the hammer again. Okay. Don't get in my way. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting 
clearing up festive bloody fog. Why am I like this? It is nice having the no, spears to deal with the shields because it goes through them and they're like, ha ha! And it comes back at them and like, oh no! Poor Demeter, young man. I still wonder what became of her fair daughter. Ran away with mortals there, perhaps. Some of the tales even more preposterous. Don't go believing everything you hear. And do be sensitive about the subject, hmm? Demeter, she's been through quite enough. Alright, so Thunder Dash, which I currently don't have. After you dash before you hit. Or Revenge! Got one reroll. Let's see what Zeus can cook up for us. So if we wanted to hang out with... Oh, we haven't done Vengeful Mood yet. Uh, lightning... So we need Strike, Thunder Flourish, Zeus's Aid, Thunder Dash. Okay, Dash will sort us out there. Uh, oh, but for Cold Fusion, we need Static Discharge. What does Static Discharge need? Thunder Dash. All right. Yeah, so it looks like Dash will be the one to go for. Shocking. Oh, that was terrible. That was bad and you should feel bad there, buddy. Alright, we're gonna go for extra health. Because we're not ready to... Press. <laughs> Sailor was like, shop time! And I was like, uh... Ah. I am fucked up now! <laughs> I am sorry! Uh, oh, and some fishing. We need to go for Icy Grand Grand, though, right? It's you or me, fishies. Let's do this. The true contest of this game. Everything else is just a fancy wrap around a fishing game. The fanciest fishing game of all time. There. Ah, not quite a perfect That's a catch. Cap, all right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We're trying to get as many boons as possible. the butterfly ball. Better handle that butterfly ball. No, I thought I'd just leave it alone, Zag. Matey body pal. Yo! Look who's actually handing the butterfly like he knows what he's doing. Whew. Come on, Demeter. I accept this Come message. on, give us the goodies! Okay. When if you cast, chill. When if you take damage, deal chill. Applying 10 full stacks of chill causes a blast effect. Any of these good? I mean, the cast's all right. All right, what are we... Okay, you know what? I keep not doing this. What are we aiming for with Demeter? So let's have a look at some of these later ones. Uh, we encountered that one. Cast is longer, inflicts chill. Uh, Arctic Blast. Uh, Winter Harvest sounds brutal. And Ice Wine is valid. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that we can reroll for. Uh, the chill affected foes shattering at 10% could be hilarious. Uh, the all foes being chill affected, all right. It was, I guess it's pretty good for dad later on, but it's curious as to what it counts as an enemy. Which is like an animu enemy. Uh, cast. As long as it's chill. Uh, Demeter's call, I guess, would be a great one. 
Okay, we're gonna re-roll for ice wine. Okay. Gods of Olympus! Hear my call! Mm, no thanks. Ah. But we did get Demeter's aid. I'm gonna take that. Unless you all think Arctic Blast is absolutely the way to go. Because 10 seconds of Demeter's aid is powerful. So, pommel health. Health. More flame wheels. Which should be illegal. Uh, with 34 chambers in, any chaos I take, I'll be taking in with me to Theseus. And not gonna lie, don't fancy my chances. Oh, but I can get my Death Defiance back. So, what more could I have even done? Could I have swayed you any other way? I tried with all my might, with all my heart, and my thunder, and still it was never enough. But anyway. Wellity, wellity, wellity. Still toiling around within Elysium, I see. Battling my brethren in the name of glory. Is that it? Well, something like that. I'm heading for the surface. Though your brethren are slowing me down, whether for glory or at my father's behest. see plainly then what your birthright amounts to you're no better off than any of us here now go all right replenishes all death defiance and we're healed and feeling good so feck yeah thanks for this uh so coin or palm let's go coin Zeus. Yeah, because boons are what we're after, right? Uh, lost track of who I've been keeping. One god or the other. You know what? I'm going to go for Dio first, get that ice wine going, and hope that Zeus isn't too mad at me. <laughs> Oh, 
can you not get duos in two god rooms? Oh. So you take less damage at 40% below. Nah. Um, after party, after, if you help us after encounters, restore the threshold to 40%. Um, I think premium vintage is the way to go, because we're out of rerolls. Because... This is outrageous, Sagrius. Even your father would agree that actions such as that can't go unpunished. All right, goosefuck. Sorry. Wow, I just said that out loud. Here comes his wrath. Zagreus, as you were. <laughs> Darn it! Uh, static discharge. Your lightning effects make foes jolted. Your lightning bolt effects have a chance to strike twice. That is fated. I feel like static is the one that we need. Yeah, okay, okay. Static is. We need just... Oh, yeah. So we need that for the grandma duo. Roger that! And... Who doesn't love this stuff? Nerds, that's who. Uh, uh, this is just before Theseus. Do we want an extra 100 gold? We've got 690. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I think 100 gold's not going to be worth it right now. Because I don't know what Super Theseus is going to do to us. Should come in useful. That's a lot of coin. Yeah, that's a lot of coin. I mean, there's Artie. I think there's a possibility of getting some crits. We don't have a reroll, but it's not going to take up a, a slot of anything. Uh, so Moose says regular Theseus are only at heat 3. Wait, because I thought, so heat 1, if you're only doing extreme measures, heat 1 is the fates, heat 2 is bony, and heat 3 would be these bad words. Because I accidentally put too much into extreme measures. Alright, friendos. Uh, sadly, a combination of staying hydrated uh, and... Uh, drinking an inordinate amount of coffee means I need to nip the loo again. <laughs> oh, EM2 is heat plus two. Oh. So what it really wanted me to do was do uh, extreme measures plus something else. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm not one of them smart guys. Okay, friendos, I'll be back in just a sec. So, all right, this is regular Theseus. I don't have to worry quite so much. And, um, yeah, uh, whether or not you lot think I should grab an Artemis spoon, I will ask you when I get back.
Hello, hello. Thank you all for waiting. Mild Madberry style impressions. I'm ready to go once more. Fish and mailed. A good afternoon, Awato. Um, I was pondering, and I don't think there's a bad thing for picking up Artemis now, so let's feckin' go for it. And Jin, Wato, hello, hello. How goes it? Anyway, uh, I hope you're all having a lovely Wednesday. How's it going with your good selves? Tell me your tales. Let's see if I can continue my streak of kicking Theseus in the non-denominationals. And we can go from there. Jinnet, uh, uh, thank you for asking. Uh, GDC is. I'll take this one. If you're quite done with shopping, Zagreus, let's say we cut straight to the chase from here. Hey, I'm the one who had to play Karen for this mess. She's offering an exchange. Oh, that's mean. That's mean. Two heroics. I mean, we've got to take pressure points, but fuck. That's me. On the prowl. It's because I spent so long faffing around here, isn't it? Story of my life. Yeah, you're right. They're only heroic because they're replacing ethics. Um, yeah, so over here. GDC cometh, um, and I am going to be playing this one a lot more fast and loose than I usually would. Um, streams are still lovely. Streams are lovely. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go crush uh, a very overly oiled man, baby. Okay, let's do this. Challenger. You face the champion and me. Ready yourself. I'll ready your butt. Wait, hang on. in a bin. I don't think so. There, demon. <laughs> you struck down the ball. You and me now. You can't fight me in the open, fiend. Or are you quite afraid? <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Oh man, Aphrodite! Oh, you corner camping bastard! <laughs> Yes! Oh. Get back! Oh! 
that'll do. All right, I don't even care if this run wins I'll or not. That's two for two on our true foe. Uh, crowd, if you could chant Zagreus a little bit longer, that'd be great. And that was for you, good shade. Both. Oh. Yeah, Miyaki Sakura. I guess I didn't put it up to Extreme Measures Three. Uh, I misunderstood that some boons push it. Sorry, some some things push it past the the standard amount. All right, so this is last round. So it's Acorn time. And then what have we got? Shop. But we walk in here with 500 gold, which does mean One hopefully we can start for some of those Got those it. combos. Because we either want like Zeus and Grand Grand or Dionysus and Grand Grand. So fingers crossed. The edge of Father's realm. I'm rich. All right, so what do we got? Oh. <laughs> Who's Zeus? I'm wondering if I should buy the... Hey, Flair. What, ho, oh, friend? GDC cometh. I wonder, should we buy cheap Zeus or expensive Zeus? choices up here. Demeter or Hammer? Eagle saying buy Hermes. Uh, what did we get? We've got Quick Recovery and Hyper Dash. We might get Extra Dash. We could, we could splash out on Hermes. Hermes, Demeter, Second Hammer. Could buy a Zeus. Now, do we go for budget Zeus or like on brands? I might, I might spend a. You're right. Zeus is one of two possible duos. So let's get a budget Zeus. That way we're not too far off of a Hermes. And then we'll hit Demeter, then the hammer. I'll take it. Piss! High voltage would be useful. Double strike is fated. Fate is still decent? Okay. Alright. It's one more off the list. So we're going to go for... Hammer, then Icy Grand Grand. this stuff. It's best not to ask Zag, mate. Poison again. Oh, and Scooby, a good afternoon to you, Watto friend. Curious thing is it weird to find the bosses easy and the mobs? Some Not of these bad. mobs are brutal and they're in such close quarters. Oh, I keep forgetting about the bloody spin. I get for taking a break. Eyes off the ball. Tasty. I saw the rise. Cheese of a winning. Um, 
Yeah, no satyrs. Now, when you get the reflection powers back... Uh, sorry, I'm the last person here who's got to experience this. But being able to reflect the satyr's poison darts back at them makes me feel like a feckin' like, retaliatory legend. Could have gone better. No thanks. They also could have gone worse. All right. Your attack uh, strikes three times a pattern. Your attack has more range and deals 90% to distant foes. Your special breaks armor. I might take the armor break because I don't. I don't know what else to grab from this. I mean, triple jab is fated. Oh, the triple jab good. If it's good, like, I don't need much convincing. Oh, piss! They'll fear me with this spear. what it is all right yeah it's no big deal it's no big deal and thank you for spotting the cash jar as i would have missed it yeah armor break also good it's not awful sorry friends all right so let's buy another zeus and just another hope for that that combo now, now, young man, whatever you have heard about good Demeter, I'm here to clear the air. She's like a sister to me, yes, but only thus. Although her titan parents and my own met the same fate. Come on, duo time. Why, foster brother? Yeah! There's such an unlikely bit of candor there from you. Almost as though you felt compelled to speak the truth only whilst I'm directly within earshot. Ha! <laughs> Zing! the goods oh that's not fair oh that's not fair that how do I choose yeah this game is just it's because I wrecked face in the last run all right Sadlin saying we need to go for cold fusion Jolted uh, effects do not expire when foes attack. Okay. Uh, and that's on dash. Yeah, okay. You're right. Thanks, family. Alright, next up. Demeter! All these tunnels. We might get another one. Is this stuff? I 
just got to make sure that that mark is up with the spin. We got this. We got this. We got this. I won't lie though, it is nice seeing those big 200 numbers pop up and be like, Hello! Hello to you too! Give me the big numbers! My father thinks my chambers are a mess. Demeter. Yeah, that went way better than I was expecting. Hear me on my authority. Piss! <sighs> Not what I was hoping for. I mean, Arctic Blast, that'll be great against the Adar, but... Yeah, you're right. This is where the Armor Break is helping. <sighs> it's just... I mean, bonus effects are more potent would have been greater earlier. Uh, Thunder Dash losing it is also a bad time. Oh! Big heal wouldn't be bad. Yes! Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Friends, I didn't even think of that. Right, we'll keep going. Uh, we might hit another... Oh! Fishing! This is the true game. The Legends game. True sport of gods! By this. Yes! That is a scuffer. That is a perfect catch, my friends. Okay, so we got 200 gold. I mean, it's a take it or leave it. I'm gonna go for more health. Unless you'll have, unless you'll think we should be rolling for cash. Health tends to be an end of. I'll take all the survivability I can get at this point, you know what I'm saying? I bet it's in here. Next. Jolter does not feck around. Ugh. What's interesting about these rooms is they're so fast there isn't time to charge up the old uh, super screen. Except in a few situations like that. But for the most part, I don't have time no, to like the moment, get thanks. the combo going. Storage right. chamber. Extra health. Cerberus can never get enough of this stuff. Heavily disgusting goodies. <laughs> Acquired <laughs> taste. Okay, so. Oh, Cerberus. Hello. We're at 200 gold. We could run through one of these and roll the dice to see if we get an extra death defiance or something along those lines. And maybe an extra, a, a bit more cash, but for the most part, like right now, I'm just thinking, <sighs> buy a palm, go from there. Yeah, this is a, this is a risky gamble.
All right, everybody's saying fire palm, and let's roll. Okay. All right, let's fucking do this. Just what I need. Okay. Ooh, jolt damage or special damage? The special is a big proportion of our of our big hit, but the jolt, holy crud. Like, that's on dash, so that's a lot of damage. Oh, yes, and the jolted doesn't expire. Yeah, you're right. All right, so it's going to be all about swing and then cause trouble. All right, friends, i got to try and get in the fucking zone, which I have not been in all bloody today. After deliberating briefly, Cerberus concludes that yes, he shall accept the sack. Thanks, boy. Cerberus stuffed with food. Yet yeah, dashing applies jolt. Okay. Wish me luck, friends. I'm gonna need it for this one. Nice night, no? She was the queen. Queen of the underworld. My queen. Commanding reverence and awe and fear. She was not just... What was the term you used? A consolation prize. You are as disrespectful to her as you are to me. Oh, what would you even know? You claim so much respect for her, yet you didn't even respect her enough to tell her what happened after she left. But what am I saying? I know you love her still, father. That best explains all the terrible choices you've made. <sighs> Brutal. All the terrible choices I've made. By the time you have existed for as long as I have, pray you will have made fewer. Although I fear you shall surpass me in at least this one regard. Oh, man. Oh, already? Here we go! Wink. I shall not fall to you again. Demeter, a wasteland void of life.
Observe. Squid of victory. <laughs> Very warm in here. Oh, that's just me. I shall remember this. Fucking hell, friends. Fucking hell. Got through. Cold fusion, certainly. Static discharge, and then... I guess double strike as well. Okay. Fucking hell. Friends, I honestly thought I biffed it there. Like, 74 health on there. There was just one bit where I, I dodged in instead of away, and I got hit by one thing, then his backswing, and I'm like, oh, I have cocked this up infinitesimally. Okay. <laughs> and Hades went to bleed, bleed, bleed all the way home. Beck, yes. Uh, and thank you for the 200 as well. Yeah, that is the eighth victory. Uh, uh, 55 minutes short. So if I hadn't taken any breaks, we would have beasted that. Check us out. Four clears in a row. Oh. Oh. I'm awake now, let me tell you, friends. More blood. All right. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Sagan says that if we pause it, the timer stops. Hi. That is a useful fact. Though I probably wouldn't leave you all just staring at the pause screen while I'm off fecking around, you know. Oh, book. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, that the the boiling blood damage doubles damage taken. Another morning, another sunrise. The sun. The sun, 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 the sun. I just saw much adrenaline pumping through me. You better praise it. You're back? Mother. Yeah, I know you said no, but I didn't get up here by listening to what everyone told I'm fishing! Everyone shut up! <laughs> I love you. Please keep talking. Think I've got one. A regular bass. Got that one alright. Yeah, I did. It's a bass fishing style. Oh, <sighs> You can't do this to me, Mother. You said Father is no fool, and neither are you. There has to be a way to fix this. Not just with you and Father, but with everyone. There has to be a way. Yeah, finally that Sega Bass Fishing has paid off. Finally. Years of training. You have your father's stubbornness. Listen to me. 
you're endangering everything you care about by coming here. Don't you understand? Besides... What? Besides what? Tell me, please. The truth is that I like it here, Zagreus. I have done well for myself on my own. And your father, he has his domain to look after. The feelings he once had for me, feelings we shared, they fade with time. Hmm. You'll understand someday. Aww. No, I won't be understanding anything of the sort. Father still loves you, I'm sure of it. And he owes you an apology, damn it. I cannot make amends with you on his behalf. Something only you can do together. Suddenly, Zack seems so much younger, you know? What do you mean he still loves me, Zagreus? How would you know? Because uh, I'm his blasted son, that's how I know. But trust me, isn't ever good enough. I know that too. I'll prove it to you, mother. Just you wait and see. Aw, he's trying to play matchmaker. Oh, you're fading, son. You don't need to prove anything to me. Please don't do anything rash. All of us made our choices. Now we have to live with them. Isn't it enough to know that I'm safe? That I'm content to be alone? No. Uh, it's not... It's not enough for me because this blasted family... It cannot just keep hiding from its problems. Running from them. We're stuck with one another. We... We have to do everything we can for one another. Oh. I... Oh, my dear boy. Oh. We... have to. No. Not... yet. God damn it all. Again. Welcome to the House of Hades. Ah, I'm up, I'm up. Oh boy. Oh, hey, I didn't see you come in. Um, welcome back. Hello, Hypnos. Take care, okay? How many babies we got? Just the one, all right. Achilles, I need your help. Oh, Achilles has got the big, the big uh, exclamation. What is it, lad? What's wrong? What can I do? Let me in father's chambers, please. That's high atop the list of things I'm not to do for anyone and under any circumstances. What is it you need? I've never even been in there myself. I don't know. I don't know. But if I know father and I think I do, he's got to have something of hers in there, of mother's. She still doesn't get it, doesn't believe me about him. And I said I'd prove it, that he cares for her. All right, slow down. I understand. <laughs> Look, this can get me in a lot of trouble like you've no idea. And not just me, so... Be careful, and be quick, while he's still out. Take this and go. Don't leave anything there out of place, all right? <laughs> it goes in and flips every table. Thank you. Chamber unlocked. Master's private quarters. All right, let's go over and talk to everybody no, before we get into it. No, can't go this way just yet. Thanatos, the world outside, didn't you say that it would make you sick being out there for very long at all? I understand now what you meant by that. Beautiful place and all, but it's good to be back. See what I mean now, Zag? Nice place to visit on occasion, sure. But I definitely wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> okay, ow. Entirely correct, but ow. Couldn't if I tried. We've got to, deci we've got to decide who our baby goes to. Oh, so hello. Hello, big puppy. <laughs> Cerberus goes about his business. Gnawing, in this case. <laughs> and pet attack. You like it when you get pets like this, don't you, boy? I'm getting pretty good with a spear. Not terrible. Then, oh, what have you got for renovations? Uh, gemstones, brilliant. Uh, darker thirst. I just read that as Darker Thrust. That would have been bad. Not too much to be spending goodies on. 
I still can't afford that aquarium. Oh, and here we go. Morpheus, I know Father appreciates your songs to the extent he's capable of appreciating anything. Though, has Nyx ever responded to them? She's always right nearby, yet you two don't seem to talk. Almighty Nyx appears to tolerate my presence, Zagreus. For she could cast me into everlasting darkness if my song failed to be pleasing to her. She is a most discerning listener. Hasn't thrown you into the void as a form of musical uh, that compliment. She is. <laughs> Nyx, I encountered Demeter. She mentioned her daughter, Persephone. You never said she was my grandmother. Didn't you think, under the circumstances, that was something I should know? What, and have you blurt it out and have Demeter wipe out the planet? Yo, you don't know what happened last time she got mad. Winter happened. Listen to me, child. What you know or do not know is for your protection. Your protection and your birth mother's as well. Your suspicion and your curiosity are warranted. But I can do no more about them now, except to caution you. Are we understood? Yes. We're understood. Okay. Meg, how goes it? <laughs> Sorry, I crushed you and your sister earlier on today. Twice. Actually, no. I only I crushed each of the sisters so far today. Meg, did you, did you ever meet the queen? Remember anything about her at all? Uh, Moose, this is a good point. So far, the game has literally said this is the, de the time Demeter got mad. Which is why it's so cold up on... Ah. It was not my place to address her. I barely ever saw her. Then at some point, I never saw her again. And unlike you, I know better than to get involved in things that are none of my business. How is it that this place has this secret queen for I don't know how long, then suddenly she just vanishes and no one speaks a word of it? Because your dad is scary. Ah, to Lance Icarus, Watto and welcome. Hello, hello. Uh, we just finished a run. Uh, dad got a good kicking. So we're now catching up with the cast of varying hot gods. How was your Wednesday going? Tell me your tales. None of my business, I said. All right. Actually, we'll hit the chef, talk to Deucer as well. Hey, Deucer, this is kind of personal and you don't have to answer, but I have to know. So, did you used to have a body and all that? Because I've heard of Gorgons, well, that you had wings and such. Okay. Um, Prince, so, look, that's something very private that you're asking, and I know you don't mean any harm, but it just isn't something I discuss with anyone, okay? I'm who I am. Besides, as you can see, I don't need wings to fly. Well, that was inconsiderate of me. Yeah. Well done, dude. Here's the latest catch, Chef. And bass. So that got us gems, booze, and super booze. Use them wisely, my friend. All right, let's see if we can buy any. So we got three regular booze. What's new? So I'm thinking Meg. Achilles and... I mean, I always want to say Nyx, but that's just me. Bringing Meg onto our good side is something I consider to be uh, an absolute uh, hilarity. Such gifts won't stay my whip when next we meet up there. You realize that, right? <laughs> You're threatening me with a good time. Uh, oh, so uh, Lance was saying that their Wednesday is uh, was exceptional. Last day before a series of busy times, so relaxing today. Lovely. I realize it. And I hope you never change, Meg. Aw, that's good of you, Zag. I hope you do. <laughs> uh, we cannot give more booze to next right now. So next one for... Achi oh, can't give any to Achilles right now. Uh, all right. Phantos. <gasps> Why bother with such empty gestures, Zag? You've said you're getting out of here. Best focus on that and leave me be. Oh. It's not an empty gesture, then. 
Besides, if I wasn't trying to stay focused, I'd be drinking it myself. The afterlife would allow for one hell of a rager. Okay. Uh... Shit. Hang on. Let me check the... Let me check the... Huh. There's like a little heart lock on Sisyphus. Then... Look at the Chthonic Gods. Huh. Deepening a relationship with Nyx. Interesting. Hades. <laughs> I haven't given Hades diddly. Interesting. Alright, so we've got one bottle of booze we can save for later. Alright, who wants to go check out Dad's chambers? Let's go have a feckin' look. Actually, I'll give it a, a brief second just in case anyone needs to tap out for spoilers or what have you. <sighs> Sorry, Chris Dalian was just saying that imagine if you did try and give uh, Hades booze, Zag would protest in character. It's very true. Uh, Lance is saying that petting Cerberus is the best part of this game. You are not wrong. You had enough to eat lately, haven't and you? And I can absolutely abuse that. And one more. Can relax. No time to rest. I'll stand, thanks. <laughs> I love how it just won't let us sit in his chair. All right, let's go check it out. Proceeding. The stoic lord and master of the house possesses wealth beyond imagining, a portion of which he has used for a crisp set of attire for every passing day. I knew it. It's just capes. <laughs> That's how he can afford to burn his capes off in a fight. He's got a view and everything. Ah, there we go. In his Lord Father's very private chambers, Zagreus, the lock-removing prince, <laughs> discovers a most delicately painted likeness of none other than Persephone herself. A coat of dust suggests it has remained here for some time. He's never stopped thinking of her. Oh, what a fool. Doesn't appear to be anything else. Parchments next to candle, which scream fire hasn't to me. Find what you need. I did, thank you. Okie dokie, Loki. So, friends, if you can forgive me for being a little bit um, slightly brain dead and less conversational, like I've got it, I've got one more run in me. I don't know about your lovely selves, but I can, I can keep going. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Ha, ah, it's funny. Get one more run! One more run! What do the three fates have in mind? I need one more for Zeus. And we've got... Not enough to get a guaranteed fate of persuasion, so I'm going to leave it for now. I mean, we could sell one of the fancy booze bottles can't break these bones pal what you just try it she has a good point you know what skilly you've been working hard mate have, have a baby now how are you being serious here pal you brought that all this way for little old me that's real nice of you 
Don't worry, dude. You're not so bad yourself, mate. Thanks for always being here for me to savagely attack without a second thought. <laughs> Use a key to respect your darkness allocation. I think you have some locked in perks you don't have active. Okay. The man, that's not a terrible shout. Get all the purple nurples back. Uh, oh, yes, because with a few of these. Yeah, so like Infernal Soul and stuff like that. So if I reset it, I can just max everything into Olympian Favor. And then... Get a Fated Persuasion. Alright. How about a new beginning? Oh yeah, and it keeps our setup. Hit the limit. the limit you know if I don't go for Olympian favor or God's legacy I can get two re-rolls See, privilege status seems good, but that seems like something we'd have to be building for specifically. So we'd have to be doing like our earlier like rupture doom builds. Yeah, uh, Sadlin. See, I have been listening when you all have been teaching me. As just Sadlin was saying, the same thing that family favorite is consistent. The other side has a higher ceiling, but does require specific builds. Yeah, I don't think we're quite there yet. And like, we spend a lot of cash. Uh, oh, they're good. They're both good. Uh, family fortune is brainless. Not gonna lie. Oh, sorry. I left high confidence on. Give me that thick skin. My confidence is not high. So we've got fated persuasion. We could get a second. Because we put a thousand, oh, sorry, we put five hundred into God's legacy, which has been useful. Uh, decisions, decisions, friends. Olympian favor has been a chance for the boons to be rare. That actually doesn't seem amazing. Like a reroll, especially at the beginning, would change the whole of our build. Okay, Satan says rerolls are good, but not worth the chance. Okay. We can't do that yet. There we go. All right. So let's see what our next weapon is going to be tonight. The purple nurples have chosen the bow. Currently, the bond between us. no successful runs. Now, you were telling me that the aspect of Chiron, of Charon, when combined with... Uh, the aspect of Charon, when combined with Zeus, makes for some hot bullshit, right? Oh, Book was saying the other side of Olympian favor gives you more boons in a run. Uh, which one was that? Okay, so Olympian favor. All right, Dark Forest raises your chance for rewards, including. So would that just mean less? health and what is the other like trash tier one uh, that's definitely one to have a look at all right so if we're going for the bow 
We need the special to hit. So we want Zeus's special on this, right? Okay, lowers the amount of keys, gems, darkness, and booze. Okay. So once things are unlocked... Because, okay. Purple Nurples and booze both get us in-game bonuses. Alright. So the goal is attack. And then turn that special into a big old bundle of like lightning armor breaking nonsense. Yeah. Well, we're not quite done farming for Nurples, but we haven't maxed out what we could, you know? Alright. So we've not cleared it with the bow. So that means we do not need to do extreme measures. We just have to beat Dad, though. So we won't be getting any more. We're getting a lot of purples for this. But that also means a lot more health. All right. Ready as I'll ever be. I wanted to mention, it was <laughs> odd how by every account you'd come quite close to breaking free from there at last of late, only to be abruptly cut off from our contact, I suppose having suffered some ill fate. Perhaps your realm's guardian Cerberus is even deadlier than reputed. I'm actually thinking, let's go Zeus and Ares. So, Doom on attack, Lightning on special. Because those two together are... Br your special causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. Fuck yes, and it's rare. Fuck yes. Yeah, apparently Crystalli and I have some game whispering skills I didn't know about. Farewell. Time to collect. Uh, so Moose is saying for Zeus and Ares, you build around revenge. Their duo makes revenge effects trigger automatically. Okay. Like. Uh, Moose, I can do that. Let's let be the Revenger Force. From that well-known Marvel series, let's do a revenge. Bow back into tip top Your shape. attack fires two shots side by side and reduce range. Hold attack to rapidly shoot. You cannot do power shot. Flurry shot seems like a good idea, even if my brain did immediately read that as furry shot, which I believe is a very, very different mechanic. Sorry, bear with me a second. Because it's either that or twin shot. <laughs> yes, furry shot. All right, furry shot it is. The deadliest bow of all. Ringers. That's what you get. Okay, yeah, I can work with this. Yeah, That's no. That's mine. <laughs> okay, I need to know, does this game have voice integration? Did they somehow add, like, a, a, a phasmophobia-style listening system? Because look who it is! 
your friend and mine, the God of War. No. The... Come on. I sense that you have forged a greater bond with your instruments of destruction there, my kin. Then that is very good, and made their altered form serve you quite well. Thank you. Okay, so your attacks afflict doom uh, after you take damage. See, Curse of Agony is something I feel that we want, but Curse of Vengeance is what we need to build towards, right? Uh, Salen says they think we need both. Let's check the book. All right. All right. So curse of agony, curse of vengeance, uh, golden vortex, dire misfortune. Uh, your doom effect. Uh, that's curse of agony or pain. No, that's curse of vengeance. Oh, curse of agony is the attack. Okay. So we can get the old stack it up. Uh, doom effect by stack. Doom effects deal more damage. Okay. So, Vicious Cycles of Blade 1. Alright. Your revenge effects sometimes occur without taking damage. Auto revenge rate every 3 seconds. So, it'll need Agony, Pain. So, Pain's in there, but then also Vengeance, Vengeance, Holy Shield, Wave of Despair, Frozen Touch. Okay. Uh, vengeful mood is the one we're looking for. All right, and so, yeah. Curse of vengeance we will need later, but we need curse of adic adic ah ah blah blah. Oh. We need curse of adic ag oh. agony. Like trying to say that pissing word. So yeah. What's the shot. sale? No. This is the midway, so let's get pooed! See, that, it's stuff like that is why I'm not taking the, um, uh, the trinket that just makes you vomit out more damage, because I keep making silly mistakes like that! Master Chaos! Ah, oh, shit. Should we take Chaos, or should we just power through for some Zeus goodness? Like, Chaos has been a fun one, but right now, let's get Zeus in. Oh, yeah, and Crystallion, the homing lightning arrows look rad as. You're right, Zeus might get us jolted. Right, I love you, Chaos, but... Go, lads. Jolted or Vengeance? I feel like we want Jolted before we get Vengeance. Because that's going to make our life easier in the, imme in the immediate. Uh, Sadlin would go Vengeance. Okay. 
we're likely to see Jolted later, and it's one less thing to get for the duo. Okay. Uh, so, Akira Zero, I'm not ignoring yous. Um, Sadlin, Moose, Crystallion, I'm going to agree with you. And if I end up being wrong later, then you'll get to laugh at me. Yeah, Vengeance is the long play. Jolted... attention wanes then uh, my fecking around uh, results in us getting a little bit more uh, damage put on but now comes the important part which is fishing denizens of the deep arise oh. he's my call fishies mine ah they got a hellfish Restore health, uh, ensure an channel trope or spawn. Nah. God, it's so nice doing runs where we're above the we're above the curve on money. I've never cleared it with the bow, so if we succeed in this, this will be a first run for us. Key means a reroll. So next up, a spot of health before we continue. That would be lovely. Crystallion, no. Blood and darkness. You're not going anywhere. Father's pissed. I'm trapped. I almost feel like Athena's are our next one of those, you know what I mean? Again, you make a mockery of me. Finally. Do I make a mockery of you, or do you make a mockery of you? Father, father. Need you to think real careful. Who's mocking whom here? Yeah, that was a lot of fun, I won't lie. But pride cometh before the fall. Ooh, and Here so does go. a nice relaxing bath. Lovely. Uh, this is chamber 12. Um, so, I said uh, Athena, or do we want to avoid Athena for now? Because we could get Athena's dash, which will help a lot. Or we go shopping. Again, I'm sorry I'm outsourcing a lot of these decisions to your good selves. Uh, it takes a lot of the pressure off of me, and I'm very grateful for that. Let's have a little trundle around. Lamentably, this bar is currently fish-free, which I think is a great travesty, and I will be speaking to my father about this. So... It's like, do we lock in Athena now? <laughs> Phobius is like, go to the shop! I miss that man! You miss Karen. That's understandable. Oh, really? Oh, well, Meowthy Sucker, I don't think I've encountered a fish here. Hmm. You're right, Book. It wouldn't help as much as... 
Something that shreds armor? Well, I tell you what. Uh, so, Sadlin uh, and Book were saying, like, the Athena dash is alright, but we'll be further away. So, it won't be quite as useful as usual. The shop is a gamble that increases the chance of getting the boons we want. Plus, uh, Phobius, who just popped in to say hello, has been like, let's go hang out at the shops. So, alright, let's go give... We'll give Karen a wave. No, but it does give us Artemis. Don't need that right now. Oh yeah, good point. Uh, help, please. I'll pay for that. And, I mean, we're playing a bow build. This is Artie's bread and butter, right? Good chat to Karen. <laughs> well said, friend, well said. Yeah, the food's like a euro and fries. I'm real tempted, friends. I'm real tempted. Should we should we pick up an Artemis boon now? Because what what might Artemis be? It might be a call. It might be a shot. Uh, it might be a dodge. Jackie, I fucking love a kebab right now, but... Oh, extra arrows to go with our arrows. That's not a bad shout. Might be those seeking arrows. Always a pleasure, Charon. Yeah, pressure points! I guess. Take it. Who's it going to be? Tisiphone. Oh, no. I, I prefer the conversation list. Oh, duh. We get it. And sometimes we have fights with her like Don't that. Wrongfully accuse somebody else. Where yeah. I feel bad. But you know what? She's been saying murder at us for however long we've been playing this. So what? This is like the thirteenth run. So for thirteen weeks she's been calling us a murderer. Do bathe yourself in magma when you get to Asphodel. Asphodel. Eat my Asphodel. Again, I regret saying that out loud and would like to apologize. Let's see here. So. Uh, we should go for Ares. Because we haven't used it, it guarantees the next one will be Ares and kind of keeps us going towards this, like, Doom Vengeance flavour. See? I'm learning. Should help. Anything to buy? Not for three chambers. See, I'm learning. So I've said that three times now. I'm learning! You know what, Agonite Key and Ares is always happy to see with us. Uh, happy to see with us? Feckin' hell. Happy Maybe to, to see them. us. God, who even needs speaking like a person? I know you're out there, Mother. One thing I will say, I don't know how many of you saw the uh, the first of the two new Wonder Woman films, but one of the things I really loved was their version of... I can't remember if it was Ares or Mars. I can't remember which pantheon they drew inspiration from. But their god of war was a god that loves all sides of war. Like, you know, logistics, espionage, um, military intelligence, the whole shebang. You know, it's not he's not just the fight god, he's the god of all war. Which means that he kindles and counters, he, he helps and hinders. He just wants conflict, doesn't want to win. 
It also meant that, you know, by the ending, when it turns into a big old, oh, I'm the baddie, didn't make sense to me, but, you know. There he's got a transportation. I just, I find those interpretations to be really interesting. Okay, kids, I need you to, to not for a bit. There. Get between a gentleman and his booze. Ill advised. Trove trail for purple nurples. Meh. Sadly, the troves don't get us extra Aries health. There's nothing else to be grabbing. Feckin' we. Yes, Agamelki. I mean, I'm. I'm. I guess I'm gonna say relearning. I'm definitely learning about the um, the local variants of the Greek gods, which just wasn't something that I was aware of. Um, it goes to show, friends, when you think you know a lot about a historical subject, there's always more. But yeah, that the different gods, depending on your regions, reflected different aspects of war. Um, which Moving I find on. fascinating. Especially when you consider how much of Greece was dominated by war. Nice try. I think just going to send skeletons at me one after another. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling kind of insulted. It would be the God of War room that gives us the weakest fight. I accept this message. Uh, so we've got impending doom. I guess impending doom. We do have two rerolls, so we could stack. We could roll for a like doom vengeance, which I think is the one we need, and then hope for in, a better impending doom later. So, Aganaki, I don't want to go too hard on theology because I'm not banned for a thousand of my brain powers, but, I mean, you are right. Um, the gods were modified and tweaked and changed to both local belief and local politics. Um, and while it is something that's discussed, you know, with uh, uh, with Christianity as its rollout throughout history, the reason why it gets discussed so wild, uh, widely is because, you know, Christianity was great for writing everything down, but also because the base theology of Christianity is very simple. Any deviations from that are real easy to track. Um, you know what? Let's re-roll. We've got a shot of the duo. Why not? Not what I need right now. Uh, I mean, Blade Dash, maybe? This is actually worse. This is because we were talking shit about Ares from the movie. It turns out Ares actually really likes the new Wonder Woman films, uh, and I should have not been talking shit. I mean, Blood Frenzy gets us an extra 15% damage against Dad. Yeah, you know what, Blood Frenzy, it's fine. The dash and the slice... 
give me big meh vibes. So Hermes or Pom. Let's go hang out with Hermes! Considering how good our previous builds are, we had to have one which wasn't all bangers. Sorry, uh, there's something about watching Doom hit, like, after enemies think they're safe. you break free to the surface we could see you from olympus a bit more than usual but no it's like you're shrouded in eternal night up here something like that odd right it's super odd don't look any more into it please uh oh wow this is we are paying for this i guess greater evasion greater haste maybe auto reload yeah And you're right, evasion is damage reduction. I need to start I need to start thinking positively. Not getting murdered is as good as murdering. Alright, choices are uh no, it's too early for a good shop. So we've got some shopping, we've got Aphrodite, and we've got Zeus! Here goes nothing. Alright, it's time for party boat. Hades' remix of Vengabus plays aggressively in the background. Oh, there's two of you. their armor is broken I can fire fast enough to interrupt them which is lovely okay all right come on Zeus buddy it was the good stuff Hades. okay so thunder dash your dash is lightning that strikes nearby foes lightning reflexes before you get hit high voltage your lightning bolts deal a larger damage to an area I think danger danger high voltage is the one out of these but a lightning dash, especially if we're able to get, like, jolted and chained and things like that. Uh, Signal says, high voltage unlocks the chance at a legendary. Well, I do like legendary bullshit. And makes our special a huge AoE. Well, you know, I guess I have to. But only for you, Satan. Obviously, I don't want nuclear super lightning from the sky being awesome. Thank you, God. Anything that I guess anything that turns this special into something nonsense tier. Oh, 
house skeletons. Well paying me skeletons. Uh, health or palm or shopping. Should be something. Nothing useful. useful. Here. Yes, Crystallian that AoE is ridiculous. Someone should stop me. Like, I should be getting a tap on the shoulder from like one of the devs being like, uh, excuse me, sir, do you know how fast you were going? What else? Contestant, a please. Excuse me. <sighs> All right, shop or Hermes. But again, this is just before. This could be fun, rapid fire and all that, but shopping could be more boons that we need. Ah, <sighs> decisions, decisions. <laughs> Alright, Akira and Book both say shop. Okay. Usually, uh, Eagle Lives is very pro Hermes, which is a good- FISHING! Alright, yeah, uh, Akira, book, uh, ten points to your, uh, your respective groups of the longship. Because fishing. Focus. That's a fight. Not Just quite perfect, but... Alright, let's go for Okay, so health, yes please. I can use this. Do we buy a random boon? <laughs> Do we just roll the dice on it? Because right now all we've got is Ares and Zeus. But we may end up filling like one of the other very random slots. <laughs> Everyone's like, roll the dice! down for a bit of spicy luck. We had a lot of luck already on our previous run and on this one, so am I am I pushing it? Am I testing it? <laughs> Again, here's me just shirking responsibility. So Sadlin says you got the stuff you need for the deal. At this point, whatever else you want, so why not? Feck it! Roll the dice! Hello, young Zagreus. Oh! Demeter's aid. Fuck yeah. That beats the heat. Love that. <laughs> I love that for you. <laughs> right. Let's break Hydra. some digital I feel like face. Getting through to one another here. Extreme measure version of this is so fucking hard. Crystallion, we've not seen that, uh, and I have no idea what it's going to entail. I won't say I'm not curious.
you have trained me well! GP says it's basically it's you. just Theseus, but he's extra bronzy and extra oily. He gets an extra 30 minutes on a tanning bed, and they, they double up on the oil. It's Theseus with a megaphone. Hello! It's me, but louder! None of his attack patterns change. You just have to... He gets to monologue throughout the entire fight. Okay, speaking of... Uh, is there anyone fun we want to bring with? Because we can't summon Zeus or Ares anymore. Um, is there anyone that's going to go with this combo? I mean, again... Uh, wait, Artemis is already locked in because we got her pressure points. Uh, is there anyone... Oh, and uh, Icy Grand Grand. Alright, so we're already locked in for gods. Uh, should we just get some extra cash? Yeah, let's just get some money. That's my choice. <laughs> That's my boy. Oh no, my boy. Father help. Guess who's going to spend 50 gold on fishing? Oh, I'm going to fish so much. Take me up. Um, so JP was saying another day or night in paradise and that's a fish uh, JP was saying if they're ever involved in making a game where there's an extra annoying boss They'll push for a, an extra hard hard mode. It's the same, but his voice is extra annoying So what you can do if you think about it like laterally If it's a game with text his text takes up space on the screen where you need to do stuff Lots of exalted shades between me and the exit So it's like he's not only extra annoying, but he fecks with the UI I heard that ping. Oh, more Aries, thank you. I heard that ping. Where the fish? They're the fish. Okay, JP, if hard mode changes a boss's font to Comic Sans, that would be funny as feck. Alright, here we go. Lurks in the river Lethe. <sighs> right there. Oh. Cut me a car. I didn't think they'd bust that out on first. That that almost threw me for a loop. Uh, sorry, friends. Uh, apologies on that. I mean, Wingdings is possibly more annoying, but you can't read Wingdings. Okay, I can't read Wingdings. I'll be leaving shortly. Not to be confused with the long-running British television show. Oh, sorry, radio show, The Archers. Yeah, there's a reference to what you think you hear tonight. Time to go then. Yeah. In the name of Hades. Come on, someone good. Yes. Your revenge effects will occur without taking damage. Woof. All right, so yeah, we've got... So yeah, we need as much in the way of revenge as possible. Uh, also, uh, we got ourselves another hammer. Um, hammer be good, hammer be bad. Decisions, decisions. Uh, I'm definitely going to take hammer over palm, at least for now. If there's some crime... Some crooks have got a new rhyme. You'll better beware, for the hammer will be there. Ow, 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 and ow! God. I've never been a kindergarten teacher, but I can only assume it's exactly like this. Okay. Your special deals plus three base damage for each consecutive hit on a foe. Your attack fires three shot and spread pattern. Okay. That seems like it's very good. More damage for consecutive hits when we're doing spreads in a whole chunk. <laughs> ha! 
Felix is like, yo, are you a dancer? Because this run through Elysium is disco! Yeah! Heart attack when I tried to pick my tie off the fan. Woo! These are some good choices. Piercing means that feck your armor. Concentrated volley means everything my hurts. Grow stronger. All right, what is this? Cash, yes, please. How could it be? Do not so much as think about it. Uh, thinking about it. Trying to respawn. I shall deal with you later then. Alright. There we are. So we definitely need to start stacking some more of those nice. vengeance. Uh those vengeance boons. Uh passive slain. Might drop some health items. For 25 it's worth it. Alright, so our choices are Artemis or Health. All right, RT, you're up. A concentrated power of me. Something's off. No, I someone's got here. No, uh, I got you. Up with you here, Zag. You must have had a little help from Hermes, I Just suppose. Just a wee bit. Think you can beat me? Occasionally, yes. You. You're very capable with Koronokt. Now I can hit a bullseye in my sleep, but you'll be right there with me if I don't keep practicing, I think. Why are you sleep firing arrows? Uh, your critical effects deal even more damage. Your critical effects uh, deal even more damage to armor. Uh, I feel like, because we've already got a little bit of pressure points, clean kill's the way to go. We could go for Hunter Strike, but right now I think yeah, I'm going to go for clean kill. Hopefully I didn't fuck that up. Oh, and we get more health, because... What are you doing back here, Zag? You made it out. I did, but slight problem. I did, but I had to come back. And not exactly voluntarily. I'll be visiting up there from time to time, though it looks like I'll be staying here. Okay. Visiting from time to time? I don't understand. Do not worry your pretty little head about it. It's my mother. She's alive and well. It's just that I can't stay with her up there for very long, so we'll have to catch up one visit at a time. Oh. I see. Well then, that's good. That's good because it means that I won't have to track you down up top. Because between us, I can only take so much of it up there. Fair. I know what you mean. Uh, so, we've got a shop, but this is the mini boss before so I guess we're getting double RT hopefully we get um, the minotaur oh, no. you and me butterfly ball better but it could have gone worse and yeah book you're entirely right thanatos is like i don't want you to go doesn't want to say it in the name of hades uh do we want hunter's dash it keeps it's like it wants us to have this but we're not really we're not using dash strike uh after you critical damage to foe damage near all right i guess hydraker 
purple nurples or... I feel like we're falling behind the curve here because what we need is a lot more vengeance. Do you know what I mean? Doom, we need more vengeance. Yeah, okay, there's Ares, so hopefully he can do some... Because I don't... Have we got Doom Vengeance? We haven't got Doom Vengeance. We've only got Lightning Vengeance. Alright. Yeah, Agonanaki, enough vengeance, and we can basically run around while everything dies. I'm okay Stand with that. Aside. friends to work day today. But you can see what I'm saying, friends. I feel like I'm behind the curve right now. Come on, Ares. Olympus Ares, you've been really cool. Alright, attack special and cast deal more damage. That's not awful. Should I should I just take an increase in damage or should I re-roll for some for some Doom Vengeance? I've got one re-roll. Uh Miyaki Sakura says they're not sure if behind the curve. Uh Crystallion would take the damage. Okay. <laughs> is automatic doom basically proactive vengeance interesting all right okay urge to kill is good all right i'm listening i'm listening i can't i can't offset my decision making onto your lovely selves and then whinge all right so we'll go for key for a reroll and hope and Zeus. Yo! Okay, I've been told that if I can fight against Demeter, wait to get a maximum god call and then use it, something happens. Something I can use? So I'm definitely going to take the heal before we go in there. The others. Uh, Chris Dalian said story time? <clears throat> I, it's... One of those things I've been advised to try, I have no idea if I'm going to proc story or if Demeter is going to pull me into her own personal hell dimension and beat me to death with a frozen branch. But the gods want me to choose. I am going to take Zeus first. Because we have me. Demeter's aid. Uh, see, this is the pisser because we didn't fill our dash and our... Like... 
10% faster god gauge? Alright. Alright, I'm re-rolling because we need like jolted or something. I would like none of these. Uh, lightning makes your falls jolted. Or lightning bolt affects the chance. Jolted! Jolted. Jolted? Jolted. Boom! Headshot. A harsh winter is coming for you, Zagreus. And I'm afraid you've brought it on yourself. Grand, grand. Kind of sinister. Jeez. Guess she's upset. Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. As risky as it is, I'm just gonna let these bad words respawn. One's rearming. Because I can continue to do damage. Damn it, once yeah. come back. Might not be the build to do it. Yeah. Darn it. I'm sorry, friends. Perhaps a few more winter seasons such as that might teach you more of how this world works. Grand scary. Okay. Your boons become common and then gain rarity every three encounters. Boons affected two. Um, if it's just our attack boons, that would boost them up. You know what? I'm going to do it. Rare crop. Let's go. Ooh, that woke me up. Okay. Although we did it just before we hit <laughs> the idiot, so. Good old rare crop roulette. But we get another round with Demeter. Pleasure doing business. Oh, cold fusion again! Sometimes. I feel stronger. They just want you to succeed. Sorry, Karen, I've only got a little bit of booze left. Okay. Yeah, not the expected duo, but I'll take it. Like, feckin' yo. It just, like, it just means it's all about jolting. Anyway, I'm not gonna get cocky. I know I've beat these guys twice today. You again? But they are our pain point. By the gods of Olympus, you'll go no further on your wicked quest. Oh, bite me. Focused. Are you prepared? The roaring of the crowd fills me with strength. You're strong. No. Now 
for the other one. Now, Hell Spawn. Oh, who's he gonna call on? Lord Dionysus. Oh, Let come on, drink it, buddy. Oh man, Dio, you what? You are the best of us. Oh, dragon, how oh, your spirit must be quivering inside. Shit! I must have got a big old crit burst there because I thought I was. A bit. Oh. Hello, supportive shade. Best little shade ever. You shades enjoy yourselves. Fuck yeah! All right. Final round, we know how it is. A green acorn and a song in our heart. Ooh. Take that. All right, so we got 130 gold going into this next little area. Uh, Fishing was saying it'd be cool if the uh, every now and then the gods just refuse to help him because they like you more. That would be feckin' hilarious. Uh, but I get this feeling that like the gods, through their infinite boredom, sometimes just back. They just back Theseus because he's funny to watch. You know, it's entertaining to watch him fail. All right, so gods wise, we're getting fuck and all. So I'm gonna put the pom on special because I know um, was it Book has been saying we should do Here's that. Defeat. Um, okay, so it's not giving me any of those. All right, so we're going to take Static Discharge too. Zesty. And Flavorful. Uh, all right, what are our choices? Sator Tunnels. Um, it would have been nice to get, like, Vengeance Doom, which we are severely lacking. So I'm thinking, because there's nothing really over here that's worth the cash. Uh, Demeter has vengeance. All right, we'll hit Demeter first, then Zeus, and then we can decide if we want to go for any of the extras. You. Doesn't taste like anything. Fucking rat, man. Uh, we did not yet get Demeter's Vengeance, I don't think. Tasty, sort of. But a few of ours are now. Uh, and a few of our things are starting to upgrade as well. So, like. What was it? Yeah, Static Discharge is just bumped up. Uh, so Clean Kill and Static Discharge will be the ones uh, boofing. Which one's Clean Kill? Oh, Critical. Uh, uh, it's alright. It's alright. Can't quite get acclimated to this smell. Imagine that Satyrs kind of smell like wet dog. That's always been my headcanon. 
The satyrs must be fashioning those things. And they are gross. All right, Demeter, what you got for us? After my daughter Kore disappeared, I left this mountaintop. Wandered the earth in search. Or not, of course. It was a necessary journey, I suppose. May yours fare better. Interesting. Uh, I might go for Minstrel Dash. Um, the cast's not really getting used. And Crystal Beam, unless we can get Artie's targeting on top, which we're not. So... Yeah, Minstrel Dash, I think, is the way to go. And I don't think there's any other... Hang on, let me check... Uh, let me check Demeter's Boons. Let's see if we can roll for... Uh, no, see, we never went Slicing Shot, and that's where Demeter locks in with him. All right. Uh, we didn't get any of the things for Winter Harvest... After you take damage, frozen touch, after you take damage, completely chill your foe. Alright, so we're rolling for Vengeance. Uh, which is the name of my shit punk band. I'd like to see more options. Fuck! We're actually doing alright for health. Alright, snow burst it is. Whenever you cast, inflict chill. I see. Gives us a little extra stuff. Oh, but we did fulfill a prophecy. Like, win, lose, or draw, depending on how we do against dear old Da, uh, at least we fulfilled a prophecy. And we got a little bit paid. Sorry, I don't know why I felt the need to share the yeah, fact with that thing that Satyrs smell like wet dog. I think it's just the combination of, like, musk and damp fur. I should stop poking. Come on out. Ah. A fine catch. You can tell my uh, reflexes are showing down. All right, next up, Zeus! My boy! Actually, he's... That felt a little cheap, but we're not getting paid to <laughs> we're not getting paid to play fair. Which you're supposed to say, wait, you'll get paid. Satar gets hit and takes a couple of little skips back, only to have the. Uh, hmm. uh, it's ten percent. You enter chamber. Now nah, we're saving gold for the moment, and either we'll get a big old heal at the end, or we won't. Rarity upgraded. Clean kill. Oh, they're both heroic. Shit, yes. Existing revenge style is making me exceedingly happy. Olympus, I accept right. this message. So we've got your god gauge charges up faster when you deal or take damage. That's useful. Your cast is a burst of chain lightning that bounces between foes. Meh. Could be good in these little situations, but. Or your god gauge fills up faster when you take or deal damage. 
Billowing strength. Oh, it's one of the fated... Ch can I play well enough to do without the cast or the clouded judgment? Because I think that's the last one. I think billowing strength is the last one. Uh, deal more damage for 15 seconds. Akira says I'm doing super well right now. You're not just saying that to pat me on the back. You're just saying that because of my rampant Sata murder. All right. You all think I can do this? Yeah! Two prophecies down. Fucking we. Let's just go down this Sata hole. And you're right, Aganaki. 15 seconds is a long time. It's a long time to have a strength boost. Um. That's quite a stash there, Charon. All right. Because uh, we can buy poms. We can buy a... Uh, health, cash, or pom. Uh, Chris Dalian says you're going to try for the Hermes boon. We could. We could hit cash next and see how much it gets us. Because for health, we're good. The poms would be okay for... The pom would be helpful for getting that boost on the special. But right now, we can just buy more health if we fail. So, alright, let's go for cash. And see if we end up with an extra 250 gold. Stranger things have happened, friend. Stranger things have happened. Shit! Good. Guys are jikes. Sorry, again, I I just lost focus there. Like, I was physically here with you all, but for a brief few seconds, I was off in outer space. And it was not pretty! <laughs> no right. is here. How much gold? Yeah, not quite enough. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're just shy of Hermes. Cerberus just loves whatever this stuff is. As with a lot of dog treats, I find it better not to ask. Enough of this place. Uh, One we... sack coming right up. We can afford a nice palm. Yeah, we can afford a decent palm, and we can afford some extra health. So that's not awful. Sorry, Hermes. Cheers, mate. Uh... So these could have been better. But I think Urge to Kill is probably the one to go for, because that's just going to get meatier, right? And you're right, Agonaki, space is full of lasers. That's actually where most lasers are farmed organically. Um, I know a lot of, like, processed lasers come from places like Florida, but if you want, like, good organic laser, it's got to be harvested in space. That's what all the big mirrors are from there. They, they refract the lasers back down. Not a lot of people know that. I'm thinking Urge to Kill, just for the boost in just about everything. The main bulk of what we're going to be doing is attack and special, right? Like, that's where it's at. Yeah. Executive decision. Thank but you, I mate. will take extra health. All right. Okay, can we do it? We've never done three for three in a day. 
We have no dash power. We have no cast power. It is just us and our bow. Nothing special, nothing fancy, nothing to it. Auto damage, 17 boons. Including super duper wooper critical damage and uh, super duper jolted damage, which comes from our special. <sighs> okay, yeah, Pistallion. I do not believe in myself, but I believe in the you that believes the in me. A solitary weakness, Sator Sax, proved terribly effective once again. And I am fully, fully in acknowledgement that Cerberus is letting us go. The Sator Sack is an, oh, I guess you bribed me. He, he wants us to. to go. I owe you one, boy. Let's ride. Here goes. Nice and calm. Nice and calm. Slow and steady. This isn't like last time. It's not about dots and dots and dots. Calm. That is the way of the bow. I don't think I'll ever get accustomed to the breeze. <laughs> eh, comes and goes. Why? Why do you keep showing up? In spite of knowing that the outcome shall be just the same as how it always was. Because it's worth it? I never get tired of seeing you destroy your own capes. Beats having to toil away under your overbearing supervision. Oh! And besides, as you may be aware, I've recently made up my mind to leave this place. Yeah, utterly incorrigible. When next we meet here, then we'll keep it brief. I've grown weary of our aimless conversations. Now prepare. Prepare these nuts! Here we go. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. Let's I fuck him up! To you again. And yet. First time every time. Not a single death defiance lost. Oh. Ah. Now, if any of you want to explain to me what parts were specifically wrecking his face there, I'd love to know. Because I was too busy just like laser focused on not getting my face kicked in. Blast. I... Oh. Made short work that time. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. <sighs> 
feeling pretty bloody good about myself, I will not lie. Oh, and heaven's vengeance, because that was definitely a contributing factor. Um, so Salem wasn't paying attention, but huge amounts of lightning damage and dad attacks a lot. That uh, so the permanent jolt is going to shred him. I'm okay. Nuclear time record as well. Oh shit! Yeah, forty-five minutes. We're we're getting up there. Again, we're not allowed to beat the time on the Stygian blade though, because it is sixty-nine, uh, and beating that would be a uh, criminal. Uh, sorry, and Bacon. Thank you for the two hundred, friend. I like that. It's kind of like I, I fought well enough to, to earn those crystals. Earn those bits. Feels good, you know? Feels good. Alright, let's see where this story takes us. Oh. Blood. Blood. Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. So the pressure points can crit the jolted damage, and he's getting jolted from both our shot, uh, getting stunned from both our shots, and from the passive vengeance, and from regular vengeance. I can weird. Sure, why not? Got it. Got me a bass. Yeah, I did. I just fetch a pretty penny down in hell. Which isn't a thing I thought I would be saying out loud as frequently as I do. Watch that sunrise. mother still here still checking for yet more fish would be my luck to get two fish in a row on top of three clears in a day all right of everything down in that gloomy house i miss old cerberus the most i think but i miss other things as well the lack of light was gentler on my skin not being as cold and nix and her young sons it was all very odd, but... Mother, in father's bedchambers. Mind you, there's almost nothing there, just neatly sorted rows of all his samey capes. <laughs> and on his nightstand is a portrait of you, wearing a regal crown of red laurels. A queen. His queen. Oh, Sag. You fought tooth and nail just to be able to tell her this. I was fitted for those garments when I first arrived. They... We're not my customary style. So Hades has a portrait of me still. Why would he put it back on display now? He got a crush. He got a crush. No, no, he's never let anybody in his bedchambers. I broke in, don't you see? He didn't put your portrait back on display. It's always been there, ever since you left. So, Mother, why do you suppose he would do that? Because he... Because he loves me still. Is that what you want me to say? Have you ever loved him yourself? All I really wanted was to leave Olympus. I didn't exactly abscond. I doubt I had much of a choice, but I went willingly. Perhaps Zeus knew how I felt, and thought he was doing me a favor. As for Hades, I grew to love him, yes. He always gave me my space. Won't you... Uh, won't you please talk to him? Or visit Cerberus again, or Nyx? As for Olympus, surely all of you can figure something out? Yeah, by the way, your mom is pissed! I just don't know, my son. Olympus is behind me. In the underworld. I cannot imagine I would be very welcome there after all this time. But you are the queen. Poor Zag. Yeah. 
You are the queen. <laughs> All right. I'm feeling pretty smug. Three for three. That is our most. That is our highest achievement of wins in an afternoon. He did it again, Cerberus. <laughs> oh, look who's taking the mocking us. All right, and I'll try and give Dad a beer. Question for you, Father. The name Kore happened to mean anything to you by any chance? What? Where did you? Ah, the cold witch brought it up to Chi. Never repeat that name again. Not here, nor anywhere, you hear me, boy. Know only this. The one called by that name despised it even more than I. Oh, wow. So let's see. Demeter's daughter went missing. She wound up down here. I happened. Mother left. Demeter and everyone else on Olympus, apparently, has no idea. That about right? Tell me what happened. Let me guess. Dad's going to do his, uh, his super dodge maneuver. I'll tell you nothing. <laughs> Keep meddling in matters that you cannot understand, and you'll incur the wrath of Olympus on all that you hold dear. And know that it is not for my sake that I'm warning you. You can't hide the truth forever. I mean, he's gonna bloody try. Yeah, it won't let me give him booze. Oh, I talked to Cerberus instead. Lies as ever at the foot of his Lord Master's throne. More pets are certainly in order here. Fuck yeah. I hope you like your toy and your cool bed. You're back. Yep. What's up? I got acquainted with the twin fists of Melfon recently, sir. Fills me with a kind of battle hunger I'd not felt before. To think the empty hand could have as much destructive force as any weapon. Agonatica, you are not wrong. Um, terrible communication. The start and final end of families. Sorry, I didn't mean to go so dark there. My apologies, friends. <laughs> the empty hand has more destructive force than any weapon, lad. It is the only weapon that can wield all others. And without it, all others are nearly powerless. Ooh, the twin fists are a testament to that. Use them with care. Don't lose your head out there. I think we've found. I think we've managed to clear it with uh, with every weapon now. I think. Thank you. Yeah, I think the bow was the last one that we had. What are those shades muttering about? You should have seen the other guy. Wait, have you seen the other guy? Cause of death, a brawl. Thanatos. I ought to have asked by now, but what's it like? Up there, I mean, outside. You never talk about it. I almost forget that's where you go for work. <laughs> what can I say? It's different i never stay up there for very long don't think i could it starts making me feel ill too many sensations all at once and when the chariot of helios is in the sky it gets so bright that i can barely see that sounds awful if it's that bad why would all the olympians chat it up so much <laughs> yeah why do they talk it up so hard there's no accounting for their taste i guess ah oh yes family drama let's go Okay, so work dudes. Now, do we want to save up for like Vanquisher's Keep or something like that? Because it keeps saying that we can get these uh, these work orders, which, as I understand, are the ones that we're meant to be working towards. But all right, Orpheus is gone. Father loved her, didn't he? Mother, I mean, faith like that. He's just stubborn enough to hold on to the idea of her, isn't he? Though what she saw in him, I'm not sure. Uh, Pixel says we haven't done shield. Oh, we did shield today. That was our that was our win from earlier. Uh, our wins so far today have been uh, shield, spear, and then bow. Your father was different with Persephone, to some extent. He has always been as you know him, yet her lightness. It affected even him, I think. And he knows that he was better with her than without. Aww. And numbers, a good evening to you. What, ho, friend? How goes it? Sounds like a lot of pressure on Mother to fix all his failings. <laughs> but it sounds as though she cared for him as well. And you and Cerberus. She said she misses you. Aww. She did, did she? Nix, you better not turn out to be the surprise villain in this story. I will cry. Looks like Meg's the featured house servant right now. 
Do so. Do so. In my father's chambers, he he has a bedside portrait of somebody. Is is she someone with whom you were familiar? Why, well, you are going to floss to the poor girl. Oh, Prince, I'm not permitted in your father's chambers. Are you kidding me? I'd ask you what it's like in there, but I don't think I'm supposed to know. <laughs> don't worry, you're not missing much. And chef, my good man, Moomni Moo, cook the fish. Do what you will with these, my good chef. Gems, booze, keys, more booze. Glad you're doing business. All right, so booze for Dusa, for sure. Dusa, you must work harder than anyone in this house, keeping everything so neat and orderly. I don't think it should be thankless work, so thank you. And I'd like for you to have this. Yay. Oh, Prince, wow, thank you, thank you. You've been so generous. I, I think I'm speechless. No, can't think of anything to say right now. Oh, you said it all. Don't mean to put you on the spot or anything. I'm just glad we've had a chance to get to know each other. I, I'm glad we've had a chance to know each other too. Thanks for the nectar. I can tell it's really, really good. Um, okay, bye. Yeah, Crystallian, hard agree. Okay, bye. Dusa is the best of us. What's this stuff? Uh, oh, booze for keys? Fuck yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I know, ruh, 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 to you too. And booze for gems? Fuck yeah. I'll take the nectar. Friends, we are getting briggity wasted. Uh, so we can't give any more to Nyx. Uh, Gillies? Yeah. There you go, mate. And no, obviously, this is for me. Cerberus needs something. You really shouldn't have. You're spoiling me rotten. I just happen to think you deserve better than you've got down here, Achilles. And booze for the dog. Booze for the dog. Don't give real dogs booze, obviously. You like this stuff, don't you, boy? Well, good, because I like sneaking it over to you. I'm totally sneaking this to the dog. I hope my father doesn't notice. <laughs> The delectable taste of nectar is enough to briefly sate even the ferocious appetite of the Hound of Hell. Uh, and... Than, because you're here. You shouldn't be doing this, Sag. You picked sides and things are not the same. A momentary stab at thoughtfulness can't fix something like that. Oh, you'll be fine. We've been through a lot, Than, and I think we'll be going through a lot more yet. Consider it a token of our kinship. Okie dokie lokies. Um, I'm going to save a bottle of booze. <laughs> oh, we get to collect our goodies. Oh, so numbers. Uh, Amos tried to steal some booze. Uh, I think it was over the holidays. Uh, that he definitely came to pass. He does not like it, thank feck. Uh, he does not like the spicy water. Uh, so, gems. Your Uncle Zeus sure has been generous. Yep. Master of Arms. That's a lot of blood. Oh shit, because we've got to win with every weapon. Yeah! Guess I have been rather busy as of late. I kind of want to splash cut that moment to me at the beginning getting killed by like random mobs in the first area. Oh, and wanton ransacking. Was this lot the best you have, Father? So, like, uh, Aphrodite and Dionysus only have a one left. Same with um, Hermes and Demeter. They can go us. Oh, achievement unlocked. Master of Arms. 36 attempts. Over 10,000 slain. Not too shabby. Uh, Crystallion, we'll save it for next time. Let me have it already, boy. Oh, no holding back. All right, Skelly. Actually, you know what, Skelly? There you go, mate. Oh, and I get a load of what you got there, boy. Oh, wait, really? That's for me? You just pull on my leg. I'm really giving this to you, mate. Now go enjoy it, will you? Once I've finished pummeling you some more just for the sake of it. <laughs> We're not actually going to pummel him. Okay. So no, I think what we'll do, uh, Crystallion, is that's a load of blood to spend on. So like, whatever weapon we get next, we can 
boof it. We can boof it up through the clouds. Whew. 13 weeks we've been playing this game. And I'm still not bored of it. And you all seem to be real happy to, to come with me on this journey. And I'm fucking grateful for that. Alright. Alright. Time's hard. Shit sucks. I'm not going to pretend like it doesn't. But these little moments, these brief respites, these these little times I get to share with all of you lot are the fucking best. And I'm so grateful for them. You know? But there was a bit of a, a twinge in my heart that I didn't get to share this with you all when it dropped, like, version 1 proper. But, you know what? Getting to hear all your stories and the things that you love about this game makes it entirely worth it. Sorry, I'm not trying to be a feelsy mother hubbard. This game always puts me in that mood, you know? Family shit, you know? <sighs> yeah, Crystallion, it is clearly a work of passion, and it shines through so, so much. So, friendos, I'm going to roll credits. I'm going to say thank yous. Uh, and then I'm going to find some lovely mother hubbards on Twitch.television to pass you over to. <laughs> Salem says, yeah, there's some serious fast and furious action going on here. Family. Superpower is family. Although, as our familial bonds increase, so too does our strength. Metaphor, you decide. Um, but I will say, like, to all of you that have hung out, nattered, lurked, to those of you that have chucked in stuff or picked things up on Humble or, like, anything that's helped keep this whole thing going, I am so, so grateful. All right? Um, like next week I'll be it'll be intermittent uh, streams and stories from me from from Judasa uh, and numbers I don't know I mean okay if we wanted to get together a group off stream uh, I know there's a bunch of people that'd be really curious to play it uh, on stream who knows uh, the Brothers Fabuloso kind of stalled more due to myself than anything else uh, Laura and Zanavir are fucking brilliant um I read about a couple of other D&D &D games that are going to be doing some similar things, so... Who knows? Who knows? The digital version of Gloomhaven I'd be really curious to get a squad together for. But that's another story. That's another story. Anyway, I hope you've all had an excellent day, because I bloody have. And I would like to say very specific thank yous to some very specific peoples. As soon as the credits catch us up. <laughs> right! Again, friends, thank you all so much. I love doing this, and I love hanging out with you all. I, I hope that comes across. Um, bits are still the biggest thing that helps keep us afloat. So to Bacon Avenger, The Man, Hunt Spectre, Vanderbeast, Anonymous Cheerers, Crux, Catros, uh, uh, Akira Zero, J-Post, Wolfcrad, Fearless Sun, and Perios Unlimited. Thank you so much for chucking in, all right? Like, I really, really appreciate it. Your moderator today was Caffeine, Lizzie, and Rhymes of Moose, uh, and uh, Null, Nalaja? Uh, Nalaja. I was our new follower person that hopefully we get to chat to you some more. Uh, those that uh, subbed today, with long sprees to every person, was Faber6, Jackie Foxbutt, Unitax, Stringer Please, and The Man! And Perios Unlimited was very kind to trust us with his, his crew, his audience. Oh god, why do I sound like an absolute tosser when I say it like that. Aperios, thank you for bringing the raid in. Again, I know it's one of those things I say on the regular, but I do mean it. It's kind of like, you are confidently passing... Let's say, oh wait, no double will. You are confidently passing your crew over to us. Oh. Alright, let me just check on these mother hubbards to just make sure that they are alive and rolling. And I will, as soon as these adverts have stopped fecking around, I'll be able to tell you what our choices are. terrible. 
Okay, yes, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I have three choices for you as to where we're going to head next. We have a Zelda, we have a Dark Souls, and we have a Pokemon. Zelda, Dark Souls, Pokemon. What strikes your fancy? It's got to be that I will say, friends, it's the first time that I've looked to see where we're going to spend our evening to hang out, and it has not just been like Elden Ring across the board. All right, we've got one for Zelda. Might just be the Crystallian's choice. Give it a couple seconds. Caps says Zelda or Dark Souls. All right, so that's two for Zelda. Look, <laughs> Link's just the help. It's not called the Legend of Link. It's called the Legend of Zelda. What does this teach us? It teaches us uh, be the person who writes the stories, not the person who fights in the stories. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, uh, I can't help but notice, having fought for the Kingdom of Hyrule uh, and freed you, oh lovely princess, that not only have you cut my name out of the title, but uh, I'm checking the, the story here. Apparently I don't speak ever. The fuck? <laughs> All right, so DJ is doing some full on randomize everything uh, Zelda runs. So let's see what that actually entails. There's a fair few people with him, so... Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll notice us. <laughs> but friends, I hope you've had a lovely day, and thank you so much. All right. God, I, I fucking worry that I do sound like a fucking a terrible, cheesy, broken record. But, my friendos, like, thank you for keeping me around, and it's a fucking honour to be the. The, the focusing point and the, the loud numpty of our little squad. Alright. Uh, I don't know when I will next be uh, hanging on Discord as I have an inordinate number of things to sort. But I'll see you tomorrow uh, and we can have a chat tomorrow morning if we want to swap out um, Blood West for Tunic. So we have Cutie Zelda game tomorrow or uh, Indie um immersive sim type game uh, I'm Chris Talley and I hope you had fun yeah anyway uh, while I might not be live on discord I'll definitely be seeing everything so I'll have a nat with you all then uh, I continue to be shite at ending streams it is a curse because I don't want to go so friends have a wonderful rest of your evening let's go say hi to DJ uh, I, I don't know if I've got a full like ah! in me but have a good night friends See you tomorrow.